boy. That music isn't intimidating at all. <laughs> hey guys, good morning. Oh, the light's all weird in my house again. Hello. Mm. Hey Austin and Chad and Eddie, good morning. <sighs> I'm gonna hit a button because if I don't, I'm gonna see spoilers. And I don't want to be spoilers. Oh, how are you guys? Probably not as nervous as I am to play this game again. Why is my house so fucking weird looking? Does that help? That helps a little. Hey, Bren. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I don't even look like myself. Why nervous? Because this game's too big. It's scary. Hey, Scissor. Missed the last stream, but you watched the VOD? Ah. So you saw my acquisition of these nerds. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I feel like I was definitely supposed to pick up lots of different characters and somehow I ended up with the weird French fencer who's obsessed with himself. And this, <laughs> this thing. <clears throat> Thank you, Austin. Oh well, I'm sure it's fine. I'm in a weird mood today. Um, Rain is currently taking Octavia to the vet. She's fine. Um, we have to get blood work done because she needs her teeth cleaned. And I always go to the vet with her, so I'm like feeling extra anxious because I hate... I hate not being there for this type of stuff. It's also like a drop-off situation. I don't get to like be there and hold her. So even if I did go, I couldn't help her. Ugh. So I'm a little anxious. I just want my baby kitty to be home. Saw people talking about Legend of Dragoon. You might be interested to know the battle system designer from that game is the same guy that worked on Super Mario RPG. Hmm. That is interesting. Um, we just added it to our uh, watch list yesterday. See if we can grab a copy. It's kind of expensive. Um, but we're definitely keeping an eye on that game. <sighs> Speaking of games that we're acquiring, we uh, got a couple, well, they're not here yet, but we did snipe a couple things off of eBay uh, over the last couple days, and they should be here soon, so that's exciting. Some, some preparations for Halloween, <laughs> uh, because I figure if we buy games in July uh, for Halloween, they'll hopefully be cheaper than if we were to buy them closer, and then some uh, collecty stuff that I can stream. Anyway, none of that matters. What matters is our friendship with um, these goobers. <laughs> Once they get here and they're tested, I'll, I'll talk about it a little more. I was thinking about um, uh, using my Twitter more to talk about uh, the rare shit that we, we get a hold of. Um, I'm not a very good Twitter user. Oh, that's right. Pierre died a bunch, so his stats are terrible. Mm. Lots of people don't like the Legend of Dragoon system because they play an emulator and the weird timing. Ah, the emulator has makes the system difficult. Definitely play one in OG hardware. Not emulated on PS3. Hey, I have to do this or you guys can't watch. <laughs> um... But as long it, it's a PS1 game, right? As long as it doesn't have um, resolution changes, I can I can play it on the PS1. But I'm pretty sure that was not in the list of games that has the weird resolution changes. Any horror stuff for Halloween? Yeah, we're I I'm very much afraid of things. I'm a big scaredy cat, so I'm gonna try my best to do a couple horror things for Halloween. Um, I'm also, uh, Halloween, at the end of Halloween is probably the only time that I'm going to take some time off, um, because I'm hopefully going to go visit my family, um, 
who I haven't seen in a couple years. But with everything going on, I don't know if that's going to be canceled. I don't know. It's it's a ways away. We'll see. The enemies that Mojo faces are clearly terrible debaters, always attacking a straw man. Ah, oh, Bren, it's too early for this. <laughs> Had the same problem with Chrono Cross. It's very hard to find capture card that can switch resolutions quickly. Yee. All right. So I want this guy in my party, but he won't seem to join me, which makes me think that I have fucked something up. Ever since that guest from Pore came, the general has been acting strange. If only I could consult my brother about this. Okay, I should do a little bit of a... <laughs> Hi, it's Ace Face. Let's... Hey, Jen. Let's do a little bit of a recap. Um, we are... This kid. Surge. Um, we... Oh, we were living in like a peaceful fishing village that... A lot of locations around which have eerie name similarities to Chrono Trigger, but that's neither here nor there at the moment. Um, we were betrothed to another girl, another girl, to a girl, um, and we got some cool stuff for her. We talked to everybody in the town, everybody knew and liked us. And then something happened on a beach and we were basically teleported into this world, which is kind of parallel, but worse. It seems like in every way um, in which my character, Surge, died at age seven. I believe they drown. Um, and um, my parents also passed away soon after. And basically the like butterfly effect of that uh, has ricocheted out. Um, so we're basically just trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Um, we have another party member who's not currently in our party, but is like stalking around this manor. Um, the first person we met whose name is Kid, and she apparently is Australian. And yes, I tried to study Australian accents yesterday and I did poorly, but I will do my best. I learned a couple things. Don't judge me. Um... Uh, we went to our dad's best friend, uh, in this universe who did not follow his, like, dream of becoming a fisherman and was, he was, like, praying to this thing. Um, and when we tried to help the dude with his memories, this thing was like, whose name is Mojo. And apparently in Japanese, Lucky Dan. So I wish I'd named him that. Um, they joined us. Then we went to a local town and we found this guy who um, wants to be a hero, I guess. They have a hero badge. And there's some kind of weird French dude who I'm not quite, I haven't wrapped my head around yet. And that's our party. And we got a bunch of hints that in this big manor, um, there were evil monsters. So we snuck in and now we look like guards, except for Mojo, who is just as scary. Oh, voodoo doll. Are you interested in Origami King? Uh, I am-ish. I'm probably going to play it on my own time. Aux Aussie accent is easy. Just do British and pretend you've been drinking Foster's all day. Eh? I don't think that will help me because I don't drink. <laughs> anyway, that's the story so far. Um, our friend kid keeps oh, coming to help us. Also, the strange fighting system in this is extremely unique and I have no way to explain it. <laughs> Mojo is trying their best. I like them because they dance. All right, let's see if I can remember how to do this. So I want to build up my meter, and then I can use elements that are stronger. Easy peasy. The system's complex. It is complex, but it's very satisfying. I don't know what that says about me, but... Also, Pierre died a lot. And there's also a lot of themes of, um... Like, weird... I don't know how to explain it. Really unfortunate shit. 
Hey bees. When you crack it, you feel brilliant. I hope I hope I get to feel brilliant. Oh, well, apparently that thing didn't care. So everything has an innate element. Oh, it's because their innate element is fire. So I shouldn't have used red because or fire, because it's red. There's also the field effects. There's percentages. Your comparison to the Splaw Slot system in D and D was rather interesting. Oh, well good. It really does remind me of um being able to choose prepare my spells for the day. Based on a number of spells that I can acquire and they each have levels and you can only use, you know, a certain amount until you've had a full rest. I like that a lot. And then there are others that are just like used and you get a certain number. I don't know. It, it, very, it feels very D&D &D to me, but maybe maybe that's just re me not having anything else to compare it to. So our main guy is white magic, which is apparently super important and rare. Because we've had their enemies called Salt and Pepor, who uh, are like tutorial friends, but they're bad guys. <laughs> Keep accidentally teaching me how cool I am. Ooh, another magma bomb. Oh, Ravel, thank you. It's one of your favorite games. Awesome. I am enjoying it so far. Missed your synopsis? Ah, I see, I see. Does this game connect to Chrono Trigger? Okay, so... There are location names that are similar. We've heard about Hecarin, who, if you guys remember, was a boss. There's a kid named Glenn. Um, Pore is in here. So it seems like there's some connection, but I don't know what it is yet. Yeah, ooh, Hecarin is right. Their addition makes the game more flavorful for sure. But yeah, we're not, we haven't really got to that point yet. We're not 100% sure. <clears throat> right, so we saw this weird person. Harlequin. They seem to be a French Harlequin. And I think that's where we left off yesterday. So I think I need to fight this. I thought if... I was gonna say, I thought I fought the eyeball, but we <laughs> apparently didn't. <sighs> Alright, getting back into it, I'm a little less spooked. This game is certainly a large undertaking that I am a little concerned about, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I think the placement of mm, the placement of the fields behind the um, the attacks that I'm doing is kind of annoying. They could have put it somewhere else, but what do I know? Good job, Pierre. You definitely need to get stronger, please. So much I forgot about this game. When Lena was talking about remembering this moment 20 years from now it was very real for me because it's been about that long since I played. I should have known that stupid conversation was a bait for like, oh, I hope we'll remember. Haha, <laughs> JK. I won't remember. Oh. <sighs> Mojo is a good boy. Oh, I should flip over to my notes. Because I'm sure we're going to have shit we need to write down still. Ah. Here we go. Nope, this is Majora's Mask notes. We definitely don't need to worry about cows. I hope. But we'll find out. All right, these doors look bad, but they're really not that bad. Uh-oh, that thing's a little bad. That big robot, I'm a little afraid of. <sighs> so what, I, what I've gathered, oh, it has a tail. What I've gathered so far is that it seems like there are a lot of characters I can recruit, but I have to make sure I do something correctly, probably at the right time. 
probably. Ciao, music! Thank you so much for gifting five gift subs. Thank you, thank you. That's very sweet. Uh, stop shulking, last biken, uh, catastrophe, or catties. Astrophy, I can never say your name right. Hawthor and Squalid Lionheart, you've all been gifted subs. That is very sweet. Thank you very much. <laughs> I changed a bunch of my um, sub stuff, by the way. Maybe you guys will notice, but we'll see. We have to get resubs in order to see them. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's very sweet. I know I keep talking about it every once in a while, but I have three um, bit emote rewards available. I just need to like, <laughs> it costs a lot of money to buy emotes. So I keep thinking like, all right, I've got to come up with something good for these. <laughs> Wish Karkala Sweat could be tier one emote. That's why it's not a tier one emote because it's like the best one. <laughs> it's an incentive. <laughs> I love that one. But you guys can use it in the Discord. I was nice there. Please don't summon something. God damn it. <laughs> Lizard Con, thank you for the hundred bits. Thank you, thank you. Why is everyone being so nice? What's going on? All right, let's kill this creepy little bulb. Hey, Jimmy. Your favorite's the angry one? I think the angry one was like the last one I had made. But I still need, I don't know. I don't have like a hello or any of that stuff, but I don't want that to be stuff you have to like donate bits for. Oops, I attacked the wrong thing. Haha. <laughs> Just to, oh, thank you, bees. That's very sweet. But yeah, update some of the, the resub messages a little bit. And like, if you saw, it specifically said like, Chad donated this sub instead of just being like somebody subbed <laughs> I didn't realize I could edit that stuff it was fun and I have lots of Sailor Mooney ideas it's gonna drive everybody crazy aren't you electric yeah I don't want to do electric molds uh -oh. oh there we go we have Bushwhacker <laughs> how did I do that uh, in Streamlabs, there's like hidden options at the bottom of the alert thing. <laughs> it's really weird. I didn't even see them the first time. But you have all your sub options and then you go to the bottom and it's like expand alternate ones and you can create extra ones for a bunch of variables. Like if it's a resub or if it's a gift. It's really neat. Definitely been using Heart and Cry. The Cry one is also incredibly good. Steven did a great job. Of course it's locked on my emails. Do you do anything? Hey bud, you're in the way. So I think I have to fight you. Gabi, do not enter. Please go around. What? I can't fight it. I know, I didn't notice that option either. I was like looking, I was trying to do some extra stream work yesterday and I, I I was like watching a video and they were like, as you can see here where you change all your stuff. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean as you can see here? Yeah, crud. As a person who's just started using Streamlabs, I find it very confusing and intimidating. Me too, you are not alone. Um, they do make quite a few videos to show you how to use their, um, their system, though. And I found that extremely helpful. Even if I don't watch the entire video. You can learn a lot of little things that you needed for other stuff. Trying to make plans for Companion and I's one year anniversary and I found out a place we went on our first date is closed forever? <gasps> I'm so sorry, Khan. Ah! That exact same thing happened to the place where Rain and I had our first date. It's gone now. Mm. <sighs> Heartbreaking. 
I'm gonna hug you with Mojo. And then you'll die. His kicks do- oh, I was about to say they do three now, which is exciting, but apparently still they sometimes do two. Still feels clever with the whole door. <laughs> no! I don't want your puns. Keep them. Keep them in your brain. Maybe I can make a pun channel in the, the Discord and silence it so I don't have to- s or mute it so I never have to look at it. That might be a good idea. Just like the spoiler <laughs> city. Don't want to be Ho Hodor. <laughs> Slice. I kind of want to keep Kit out of my party forever so that I don't have to do the Australian accent. What is that? Drongo? Ew, it's got a nasty tongue. Okay, we have to kill this. Please hit. All right, good. What's your element? Of course. All right, let's try magma bomb them. I still don't know which elements. I, I assume it's like a rock, paper, scissors. Oh, that was AOE. But I haven't quite figured it out yet. Pun channel, but every channel is the pun channel. Now, your puns? I picture them looking like this horrible tongue creature. So think about that the next time you do one. See how lightning does. Fifty-five. Okay. So does that mean electric is better than? Hmm? I don't understand. Slice. Stab. Stab again. Portal ghost. So if this is. This should work. Green against yellow. Seemed fine. Didn't necessarily tell me there was a rock, paper, scissors system, though. Did I not take any damage? Alright, let me in. Kitty! Wow, who are you? Zoa. <gasps> That's a snore sound. Hey, wake up. If you have a name, I assume I can take you. Arg. Uh-oh. Um. I, hey. What? What is it? Who are you? Ha! I am Zoa, one of the four valiant devas of the Acacia Dragoons. Oh. Okay. Eh? Who are the four devas? Hey, Lafo, I know. Chrono Cross. I say four, but actually there are only three of us. Karsh next door, Marcy in the library, and I. Ooh, library. Our leader, Dario, died in an accident three years ago. Keep talking to me. Join me. Tell me about Dario. Hope you enjoy it more than I did. See, Rain was convinced that I wasn't going... Er, he, did, he said that he didn't like this game, but he was like, you should definitely play it, though. But even he was saying last night, he's like, you know, the game looks way better than I gave... Like, it's way good gooder it's way better than I, I gave it credit for originally so hopefully everybody's getting something out of this ahem <clears throat> we wielded the holy sword Einlanzer and w was it what oh he and was a trusted confidant of general viper he was engaged to the general's daughter miss riddle and was next in line to become the head of the viper clan oh However, he died an honorable death during the, his mission to the Isle of the Damned three years ago. Karsh was on that same mission, but refuses to say much about it. 
Dario and Karsh were childhood friends, always competing with one another. Right, we saw that they, there's like a tournament and they each got like first and second place. Dario's death happened soon after he was engaged to Miss Riddle. Many rumors have surfaced regarding the death. Hmm. Island of the Dam sounds like a wonderful vacation spot. Yeah, but please, please be careful about anything. That's a little tiny bit spoilery. Oh, also, um, if you haven't been here around in a bit, we do have a Spoil City channel in the Discord. So if you want to say, like, what disappointed you about the game or, like, what your point of view was or any of that stuff, you're welcome to go in there. I have it completely muted and I don't look at it. <laughs> um, so that's always good. Uh, but you're good. You guys are good. It's fine. Lafo knows. It's okay. Many rumors have surfaced regarding his death. Hmm. Really? I can't ask anymore. Come join me. Damn it. Can I have your treasure? Only I can open that. Fuck. I like your cat. Are you sure you don't want to tell me more? Crud. All right. Well, I guess I can't recruit this cool guy. Hmm? I don't like these lamps. What? They just get to attack me? That's not fair. Damn it. I feel like I could be planning out my stuff better, but I think this is the best way to do it. You hit until you have enough magic to do a big cool thing, and then you do the element. I feel like it might not be the best use of all my stamina though. But I don't know when it's gonna switch me off. Like make it so I can't attack again. Oh, you're fire, huh? I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually, and if I don't, then I'll just lose and it'll be fine. <laughs> oh well. It's so weird not having Rain and Octavia here. I feel confused. Let's see if we do dance. This is the best thing we have. I need to keep an eye on the spells that we get as well. Morning, Outbot. Ready for some mojo? Good. He's our best party member, so <laughs> I hope so. Who's in here? So this should be um, Karsh's room. Oh yeah, there he is. Is he gonna try to fight us? Hey, bud. We all have treasures. I'm good, I'm good. I'm a little nervous, but we're good. Seeing meteors erase enemies like that makes me think of the rock always wins. Mm. Yeah, what do you want? Who are you? What? You don't know who I am? What are you, rookies? Well, listen up and don't forget. I'm one of the four devas of the Acacia Dragoons headed by General Viper. The name's Karsh. Gahahaha! <laughs> okay, that was strange. Who is this Surge? Oh, you mean Junior. I had orders to bring in the ghost of that boy who died 10 years ago. But we had an unexpected. We had. He had. Oh, the little. I hate bee cops. But we had unexpected company and he got away. He seemed way too human to be a ghost, though. Ah, I don't know what that guest from Pori wants with him. Right, so there's a creepy guest in here who's making everybody evil, so they're clearly going to be someone we have to kill. I hope. Who's General Viper? The general is the head of the Viper clan and has governed these islands for decades or generations. I don't know why I said decades, but that's not all. 
When he was ordered to take up a new post on the main continent, he made quite an impact as the leader of the Acacia Dragoons and was promoted to general. He has retired from the army since then and currently serves as the Lord of El Nido. Huh. Tell me about Viper Manor. This manor was built by the general's ancestors 100 years ago, when people first began colonizing the El Nido archipelago. Treat the place with respect. The hell? Rain, how are you here? Are you watching from a parking lot? What's this frozen flame? Ah, uh, that's a top priority classified secret. Its existence has been rumored in the northern countries for generations. Legend claims it contains mysterious powers which can guide anima and change history. Anima? But no details are known. Hmm? Can I touch your treasure? Yo, don't open that! Eh. Open your butt. Why don't you have any secrets, you big jerk? It's a good thing we didn't have Mojo with us when we fought him last time, otherwise he might know. <laughs> hey, I'm allowed to steal people's treasures. Can't interact with these ones. All right, here we go. We went the other way. Are you happy now, big thing? Wait, what? Where is it? There's something blocking the way, okay. What's this, then? Huh? But we went up! Well, I know the code. Unless it changed because it's a different day now, but it... It should be six to the right, six to the left. If it changed because I saved and it knows it's a different day, this game is incredible but also very mean. For a second, I thought you said they could guide enemies. Oh, animas. <laughs> hmm. Six. Oh. If you need a magic artifact to facilitate an anima, it's time to go to the doctor. All right, and six times to the left. I accidentally did this wrong initially because I tried to back out and did zero zero and it trapdoored me into a, a cell. Oh! Hmm? Eh? There's another one of these. Hello. g g g p p Hmm... I don't want to go forward yet. Whoa! Is that the moon? That's ominous. It's another game about going to the moon. What does this say? Read it, you dingus. Oh my god, he can't read. <gasps> Are you a friend? Return of the Giant Moon. We played Majora's Mask and then Final Fantasy IV. Two games that were much more moon related than I was expecting. Girl. Oh, she has Chun Li buns! So, like, what are you doing here? Dragoons aren't allowed up here, you know. We're not really dragoons. What are you talking about? Don't take your clothes off, Pierre! Just two dudes and a straw man, nothing to see here. We just undisguised ourselves. So, like, what's your point? What is it, Marcy? Is someone there? Some weirdos. Hmm, Marcy, lower the ladder, please. Okay, I want this girl in my party right now. All right. No one questions the walking scarecrow? Why does no one question the walking scarecrow? I feel like having him should make all of these paths invalid. 
It, oh, if you did not know something something, then you must not be real dragoons. Oh my, you must be. Yes, yes, you must be Surge. Huh? My, how you've grown. How do you know that? Like, can I kill them yet? Patience, child, patience. I need to have a word with these people. Wait, 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 wait. Patience as in wait to kill them? Who are you? And how do you know Surge? Hmm, how do I explain? I guess you could say I am the prophet of time. Wait a second. He's wearing the hat. Listen carefully. The world is not just a single entity. Another world similar to our own exists in another dimension. There you will find what you might have become, a world of possibilities that might have existed. A whole history that has yet... Wait, that has not been written yet. It is out there somewhere. We are simply unable to see, feel, or experience it. Surge, this world is not the world you grew up in. Ten years ago, something happened that put your very soul teetering on the balancing scales of fate. With a 50-50 chance of life or death, this is when your future was split in twain. In your home world, you survived to live a happy and prosperous life. That is how you made it to the present point in time. However, here in this al alternate world, you are, in fact, very dead and buried. You died ten years ago, but this world's timeline has flowed on regardless. You have no place in this world. Here you are but a ghost brought back from the past. So I kinda am a ghost. Shouldn't have eaten his mushrooms. I do not know what happened ten years ago. Nor can I guess what triggered your entrance into this world. The locations where such divisions in our time-space continua occur are called... Angelus Errare? Where angels lose their way. It is said that there, the borders of two dimensions fluctuate in such a way as to make the passage between the parallel realities a possibility. Perhaps in this world you are the missing piece from a giant puzzle. And maybe, just maybe, the vacuum created by your non-existence here has drawn you across the border between the dimensions to fill the void in that puzzle. Of course, no one can say for sure. Thanks, sir. Surge's chance of survival was a corn flip and the coin landed on the edge. That's very true, actually. That feels accurate. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. <clears throat> However, it appears as though these two worlds are connected by some unknown force. Depending on the location, the two worlds influence each other in strange ways. I'm quite certain there is a wormhole that connects the two parallel worlds. For your information, if you press the start button while on the world map, a menu window will appear that allows you to display which world you are in. Your home world or another world. Eh? Does that mean that I can go back and forth? If what you say is true, then this world's an alternate reality. Then why did Serge die? The reason has to be something that happened ten years ago. You can only find out by moving on. No way am I going to let you. Who are you? Can I, can I? <sighs> I guess it... Shikata ganai, ne? This may be fate in itself. We don't have time for your silly games. I advise you not to take Marcy lightly. This child is one of the four devas? What? The highest rank of the Acacia Dragoons? 
You must be kidding. Hehe, <laughs> too late now. Say bye-bye. What? Excuse me, old time man? You're gonna let this kid beat me up? This very strong kid? She's so cute! I want her on my team! She's sassy and a jerk. I love her. One hit and you get to attack? Take this. That's only 15 damage. This is fine. Alright, Marcy. I'm gonna beat you and then you're gonna join my team, right? Meteorite. Eat this. Why is not Sagely Prophet permit me to regale you with the legend of the start button? Ah, uh, video games. Smack. Hey, get smacked, please. Damn it. And this. Oh! She smacked him in the face and the crotch. Cracks me up on characters <laughs> and games give instructions like that, right? I should have done an element. That's okay, she's gonna get hugged to death. Uh, Ms. Moonshine, thank you for following! Thank you, thank you! That's right, beat up a child until she befriends you. Uh, excuse me, she's a child who is also extremely skilled and wanted to fight me. So, I'm doing what she wants, and then she's gonna be my best friend. Don't you want to dance, kiddo? There you go. Smack. Uh-oh. Please stop slapping him. Ho oh, ho, you missed! Take that, little girl. Now be my best friend. Oh, <gasps> don't miss. There we go. Dash and slice. Love this game. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm doing well, thank you. Play this over and over as a kid getting all the endings. Okay. Thank you for telling me that. Please keep in mind, this is a blind playthrough, so please, no information about the game. <laughs> I mean, I figured there would be multiple endings because we did play Chrono Trigger and that game had a million endings, but you're good, you're good. It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. I totally understand. Just letting you know. Had kids want to fight me, never fought them back. <laughs> well, this kid did want to fight me back. So we have to fight her. Have a plus three fireball, but... <laughs> oh, those are such... Are those bunnies? Oh my gosh, we can be bunny friends. You think you're so smart? How about this? Uh-oh. Cat's cradle? That actually hurt, you little jerk. Bad child, no. Eh? That's a bunny too! Oh, that's a real bunny! Eh? More bunny love, please. Alright, what is medicine? Medicine's like a cure, right? The flu? I gave you a heal, didn't I? Maybe not. Haha, <laughs> oops. That's okay. Oh no, I gave you tablet. This might be a waste, though. See how much it heals for. I like never use my healing stuff. All right, that was worth it, I guess. Shoot. Let's do what we can do. Two should be fine. There's a lot of fire on the field, so let's do fire. Cause fire is the opposite of blue, right? Hey, Shadow. Out of bunnies of pizza instead. Ow. She slapped my Heyman. Leave him alone. He's my best friend. Two. We don't want to do water. Let's do photon ray, I guess. What I should be doing is doing photon ray, then slice and dice, and then the last one. But then I wouldn't be able to do other stuff. Ha ha! She's on the ground. I'm a little concerned about Pierre's health, but... He'll be fine. Um... Yeah. Thirty-eight. 
How are you still alive, ma'am? Oh, I don't want to use Aqua Beam. I don't want to... Mm, let's just hit. Build up for next time. Why you? That does it. Ice Blast? Do it to Mojo. No! Pierre, you're going to have no experience again. Oh, you get to do it more than once? Man. You just had to hit him, huh? Everybody attacks Pierre. I'm never going to get any experience for him. Man, that was cold. What? I have to murder the kid. <laughs> right. His pants draw enemies attention, not the hat. Eat this floor. Really? You're not dead still. This is a little concerning. This kid's strong. I want you on my team, kid. There we go. Ah, oh, Pierre! Hey, do you want to replace Pierre, miss? Another star. Eh. Uh, Pierre! What if NPCs had save files? Huh? Mm. Damn it. Oh, we got an ice blast. Okay, that's pretty cool. <sighs> it's not over yet. I'll get you next time. No, join my party! Ho ho ho. I did not think you would... Stop skipping the text. Defeat Marcy or something. Very well. I shall advise you of your next step. There are eight pillars standing in the main hall. Oh, God. All right, let's write this shit down. I like Pierre. I like I like our party so far. So we're in the mm, mansion. There are eight pillars in the main hall. I didn't notice that. Behind the two... Wait, behind the second to last pillar on the left, there's a button to release the platform. Second to last on the left is a button. Okay. Dragoons are not allowed up there, so it's best that you go as you are. Beware, however. There is a much stronger being you will encounter. I mean, everybody's stronger than Pierre right now. Eh. He's never gonna, he's never gonna level up. He's died at every boss that we've had with him. There are eight, oh, you're just gonna tell me the same thing? All right, thanks, sir. Thank you. Can I touch your books? Ooh, there's a treasure up there. <laughs> This guy is, oh, I can't jump, can I? Oh, eh. mm. oh well, wait, <gasps> push switch. <laughs> Climb ladder. Throw Mojo up there one piece of straw at a time. That's not a bad idea. Turn white. Hmm. Yeah, Pierre's got to um got to get a real level up. His health is, I think, the same as it was when we got him. Maybe it's only increased by about two. Hello, scary, ominous moon. Goodbye. Definitely, probably not gonna... Oh, what? Huh? Who the... Hmm, you are Surge. This is the sleepy lady. You are even more s sexy than I thought. Ooh la la. <laughs> and who the bloody hell are you? And this vulgar one must be kid, you disgust moi. What'd you say? 
If you're going to insult someone, you should at least speak proper English. Oh my god. Whoa! I- okay, I thought she was doing like a flip. Je m'appelle Harle. I am the right hand Harlequin to Monsieur Lynx. She is cute. Serge Montpuce? If you lie down with a dog like this femme, you will surely catch fleas, no? What? That's so mean! I think you can do much better if you give her up. Actually, I suggest you all turn back. You should not defy him. Oi, what's your problem? Please, Mon Serge. Does she like me? I would hate to see anything happen to you. I, I think she's supposed to have a French accent, but it's very weird. I've had it up to here with you. Taisez-vous, you shut up. I'm having serious conversation with Serge. Why don't you mind your own business? I cannot have her and... <laughs> I can't have her and um, Pierre in my party because it'll just be my terrible French accent. That's it. Put up your dukes. I'm gonna kick your ass so hard you'll kiss the moons. You are the one who is going to have her derriere kicked, no? Accent challenge mode? I'm in hell. But alas, I cannot be caught fighting you here. Imagine the trouble I would get into. Au revoir, mon serge. See you again. I know I'm bad at accents. I apologize now. <laughs> I'll do my best. And serge, please dream of moi, oui? I hate how they say please dream of moi. She's what's her problem? Doing better than expected? Hey. <laughs> hey guys, you know how to get up there, don't you? Well, get going. Oh, come on. I want to save. You won't let me go. All right. Eight pillars. Second. Wait, I don't see pillars. Is it these? One, two, three. So it should be this one. This doesn't feel right. Maybe I can just talk to these people. Think the problem you're going to run into after Chrono Cross is over is you're just gonna speak in random accents. Oh, there we go. Push. Ah! What do you think you're doing? Okay, I didn't think. I'm glad that I didn't crush them to death because that's horrifying. But now I have to fight them to death. So I don't know if this is better. Mm. Still using the D-pad? Aw, oh, true. I forgot to switch to analog mode, you're right. I don't know how to do it in the settings. I've never really used, I, I played like one game on the PS3. So. <laughs> Dash and slash. I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out. Hold the PS button. Well, I'll, I'll try it when I get out of this fight. All right, Pierre, I need you to live, please, because what the fuck? Why did he stop? Come on, guys. Do your attacks. There you go, attack surge and Mojo. Mojo has so much health. Voodoo the... Actually, if I voodoo you, will probably die. I was in a bookstore with your companion and she said she didn't know Stonehenge was in England. For whatever reason, I busted a really good English accent. And you can't recreate it now? It's a curse. If you don't think about accents, they're much easier to do. But if you think about it, it's really hard. At least it feels like that to me. Slice, 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 fireball. Yeah, okay. So he's yellow, which means the opposite is probably green. So green and yellow are opposites and then blue and red are opposites. 13! Mm. Kick. Kick. Eat fours. Mm. 
Oh, there we go. Meteorite's overkill, but let's do it anyway. You almost got crushed by a platform and said you're gonna get crushed by a meteor. I'm so mean. I think we might be the bad guys again in another game. Pierre, come on! Why won't he gain any abilities? All right, hold the PS button. Whoa. Uh, controller settings? Ah! Analog mode. Oh my god, I can move! Thank you, B-Cups. It's wonderful! There's a switch on the armrest. <gasps> Look at Mojo. He's going up and he's like, ah, I gotta stable, stable myself. <laughs> this game's cute as heck. Well, I hope there's a save behind you, big scary eyeball door. I hope it doesn't spawn another of those nasty tongue pots. Ugh. What the f- Leave Pierre alone. Everybody has it out for Pierre, I don't get it. What did he do? Mojo's the heart of the team. It's true. He's probably also the only one with a heart. Oh, come on. Hit him so I can heal you. You have heals, right? Yeah. So cure... on yourself. Are there rows in this game? Like in Final Fantasy? Mm, I don't think so. I haven't, I haven't been able to f find that if there are. Ah, oh, hey, Piana dude. Can't get over how good the normal battle theme is. Very true. The music in this is incredible so far. I still can't get over the the th the music that plays when I'm load like the game is just loading. It's so good. Pierre's too beautiful. They're jealous. Pierre, the ultimate face tank. No, I need him to live. My precious experience. It's not even experience, it's like um, special fight stats that I get or something. So I need him to stop losing at it. What are you? Okay, it's fine. TP? It's kind of like TP. I don't really know what it's called, but... <sighs> something to do with when I get stars and stuff. I just noticed that when I select mojo it specifically says cursed like it's a status what the fuck is that a giant dodo never played this so i'm curious why he's getting attacked i don't know i have the same the same question as you What are you? White? Uh oh. Is that a boss from Secret of Mana? Eh? Maybe. Who knows? I don't know anything anymore. I've decided. Maybe I should turn you to a different element. Let's do Fireball because I have fire out already. He hops over frogs. I did get Mojo by accident. I've basically done everything by accident so far. <laughs> but that's how blind plays are supposed to be. You just kind of fumble your way through. Let's try Aqua Beam. Giant head bird boss. I My memories of Secret of Mana are kind of fuzzy. I played it a couple years ago and I liked it but I don't remember that much of it. 
Yeah, he's a cursed element. I wonder if I can remove that. That's probably something to do with this story. Hmm. Could you die, please, bird? This is very sad. There we go. Okay, it's dead. As long as it doesn't summon something else. Pure is okay. Ah, you love this game? So many people were like, wow, you're gonna you're gonna have a hard time if you play Chrono Cross. It's one of the like most like disappointing games ever. But then everybody's coming out of the woodworks to be like, oh no, this game kicks butt. They're just jerks because they didn't like the original one. Or they didn't like that it isn't Chrono Trigger. So it makes me think like there are a lot of problems with calling something a sequel when it's not a true sequel or or using the name. I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Doesn't matter. One time I died fighting the final boss in Secret of Mana. I progressed too far at the end and couldn't go back, so I kept going and wound up at the final boss ill-prepared. Ugh. That happened to me in only one game. Where I got trapped and couldn't continue because I saved before a fight. Folks, I hate this game. We're just disappointed with how it's completely different from the prior. It seems- that seems to be the case, yeah. Kind of like everyone saying Zelda 2 was trash automatically because it wasn't like the first one. Yeah, it seems like that. Though I haven't played Zelda 1 or 2. Um. Yes, Pierre got a single health. So I can't say for sure, but it feels similar. Zelda 2's trash though. Wasn't the same level of amazing, but still good. It's only disappointing if you have the ex extreme opinions or the inability to adapt. Let me in the room. So triggered by this game's lack of sequelness as a kid. Eh, hey, really? Ooh. I accidentally took a shield I didn't need to take earlier, and I feel bad for it. Oh. What, you find something? Oi, could this be? Nah, it ain't the frozen flame. Don't see any other booty here either. I guess I better ask the general directly. Eh? Oh, I see, which is so. <gasps> Shit! My compliments on getting past my security. Now may I ask you, who in heaven's name are you? Oh no! I'm trying to do accents, yeah. So yeah, General Viper. Don't feign ignorance on me now. Why just send your dragoons to get me mate Surge here? Surge? My dragoons? I'm afraid, my dear, I haven't the foggiest idea what you're talking about. Whoa, what the fuck? This guy looks like a cat person. Square loves using franchise names repeatedly without making actual sequels. That's true. Pierre is right there. Don't see any booty here neither. Pierre is right there. Wow. The Pierre standing in here. How oh, I gotta come with the voice of this guy? General, I believe these vermin are here to see me. He looks like Wolverine. What the fuck? Now he looks like Sabretooth. But his thing, his model looks like Wolverine with the... Well, it seems you have saved me the trouble of finding you. Lynx? Lynx? What the f... Hmm, a young girl. Are you... What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? I finally caught you by the tail now, Lynx. I've come for two things, the frozen flame and your life, you murderer. Ah, so you must be Kid, then. A member of the fearsome band of thieves known as the Radical Dreamers, correct? What? She's in the Radical Dreamers? Radical Dreamers? This young lady? Precisely. Don't let her ignorance fool you, General. She's quite ferocious. Ha, ferocious? My ass. After what you've done? 
I hate to disappoint you, but the frozen flame is not here. That fire lies hidden in the Sea of Eden, which I need to write down. Do we have that? No. Sea of Eden. Thank you, Catman. The place where past and future collide. All right, then. It looks like I'll have to put that pot off till later. In the meantime, I'll settle my score with you, Lynx. Prepare to meet your maker. Excuse me? Ha! I have no business with you. Serge! It's because she's not in my party! Meow meow secret mission meow! <laughs> hey, Chris. Eh? Is that his head or a hat? He's got a scythe? Or should I say a scythe? Don't hurt me. Good dodging, Mojo. Black? What is your element? Black? Okay. White should be the opposite of that. Look Look at that Skype. He has Dark Souls cut. Truly a Dark Souls cut. Ooh, 100! Take that, you butt. Alright, Pierre. I would really like it if you could live through this fight so you could get some experience. Good job. Electric is the element on the field. Do you have any electric? No. That's a bummer. Fireball then. This is very animo. Clearly a lynx man, not a cat man. A lynx is a type of cat. Nine. Crud. So if I do my dark stuff on him, it's probably not gonna work. So I probably should not hug him. <gasps> Kick him! Uh oh. Anti white? Hey! White elements temporarily unusable! What a fucking cheater! Uh. Let's try Bush Bushwhacker. It's pretty good. Delta 2 was supposed to be a different game. They had grander ideas for the game, but the hardware limitations kept messing up the plans. That's sad. You can see all the Enix elements and trigger like Toriyama's art and the semi-Dragon Quest feel of a lot of stuff. I do like those things, but again, this game is really awesome so far, so I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see what happens. I really enjoy it, though. All right, so I can't use white. We have a fire on the field, but it's gonna go away. So maybe I should start stacking green? Feel like a scythe should be super effective against someone made of hay. Don't tell the game that. <laughs> They'll hurt me. You're not wrong though. Shit. Good job. Oh no. Imbecile? Oh! <gasps> no! Mojo's already dumb! M's MGC temporarily- huh? I don't know what that means. Farts. Alright, do you have a green? Yes. Sixteen? Crap. This takes me back. This guy's a real links to the past. Ah! Thank you, Austin. No puns. <laughs> Thank you for paying the pun tax of 32 bits, which is apparently something that, I don't know, I'm just going to go with. You decided it, though. Don't enjoy this game. Chrono Trigger fans will come after you. I'll enjoy whatever I want. Chrono Trigger fans can come after me. I already 100% their game. It was so good. Should I voodoo dance? Will this hurt you? Let's try it. This might come to bite me in the butt though, because it's going to make his stuff stronger. Oh, my magic stat was reduced. I see. Dance, you big jerk. Hell yeah. So many of these abilities remind me of D&D. &D. That reminds me of um whatever is silly laughter, where it makes you like laugh forever. You like can't stop laughing. Now he's at four. 
We're running out of stamina, though. Tasha's hideous laughter. Yes! Thank you, Prin. Still can't use that. I can fireball you, though, and it's plus two. Hideo now? Yes, Hideo's laughter. 48. That's pretty good. He's still not leaning like he's hurt, though. Hideous laughter is the workhorse of the board in our group. I do play D&D. Um, I'm currently playing two different campaigns in 5th uh, edition. I am a Kenku Rogue in one, who's a very little kid. And I just started a new one where I'm... We're playing ho uh, homebrew stuff where I'm a, a turtle. <laughs> I'm a turtle fighter. Fuck it, we have fire out. Let's do it. Enjoy this one more than Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger's amazing, but it takes a lot. Oh, this one takes to the next level. I see, I see. This is definitely the next level fighting-wise. There's way more to do. Who are you casting that on? That's fine. Surge is not very good at any... Or er, Pierre is not very good anyway. Do I have any fire with you? I think I do. No, it's tablet. Shit. I could turn you yellow. Let's do Electrovolt first. Yeah, I'm a turtle. It's fun. We're a bunch of um, like lizards and salamanders and turtles and stuff. Hellbound? Is that Doom? Don't do that. Uh oh, that feels like a timed thing. All right, we gotta win fast. Could you lose now, sir? I should turn you a color. I think I only have it on one person though. We're running out of magics. Hiding whale, thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Hey, he doesn't seem tired at all. Mm. Spaghettification? No. I believe this game was developed by a lot of the modern Monolith Soft team, which is why the battling engine is similar to Xeno Gears. Xeno Gears is on my list of games to try to find a copy of. They're actually pretty cheap, but I have to be careful about how many things I buy at once, retro wise. All right, ice lanes, I guess. I'm also trying to start a campaign of stars without number, but none of us have time. I think the music composer from this also did Xeno Gears. Eh? Away, sir. Let's just do dental kicks. Oh no. Who are you casting? This is fine. This is fine. Xeno so, you know, Gears is worth playing for the music. Ah, oh, the triumphant blood drawn kitty has returned. Is she super angry? No, she's okay. Fearsome purple pants. Maybe I can kill him with this piece of floor. 19. Uh oh. We haven't lost a ton of health, but I feel like I'm being tricked. <gasps> oh my god, I can do white magic again. Hey, your stupid shit wore off, sir. Is he slouching? He's slouching, he's slouching, we're doing it. Oh crud, am I out of stuff to do? No, I can aqua beam. Alright, let's do it. Composer was Mitsuda. Also did Chrono Trigger and Xeno Gears. Huh? I have to play Xeno Gears then. This music is out of this world good. Kick. Medicines. 
It's a little late to be turning him yellow now. I can't really do anything else with you, huh? Mojo definitely needs more magic slots. <sighs> Composed cross during his big Celtic music phase, which has so many string instruments. I love Celtic music. Celtic music reminds me of the stuff I used to listen to as a kid. My mom would play a lot of weird Celtic music, especially around Christmas time. Mm. Alright, you should be able to do something big. Anti white. No! I just got that back! Can you do anything? Uh, crud. Kick him to death! <laughs> So, the fact that my spell slots are one-time use means that battles, I could just like lose out of the- yeah, I have to actually- hmm, I could lose the ability to do stuff. That's very interesting. So there is like a hidden timer. It's a timer put on myself. Crap. We just have to punch him to death. We have to punch him to death. Assume you're Scottish Irish based on the hair. I am. I'm a weird mix of things. I'm also Swiss and Czech and French. Bunch of weird garbage. I'm a white person. It's really not interesting. But yeah, I'm mostly, um, my family came from Ireland and England, mostly. I'll just do really tiny hack and slashes until he dies. Ow! He's doing real things now. That's not nice. Mm, but I guess I can use all my stuff on heals now. That explains why heal use items are so important. You have a heal, don't you? Antidote. Yeah, I've got to give them more um, actual things. So let's heal Surge. This is one of the first PS1 RPGs that used compressed audio for the OST instead of MIDI instruments. It really comes through in a few tracks where you can hear the breaths between the wind instruments and hear the fingers sliding on the frets of the guitar. Ah, I love that. That's incredible. Yes! Oh, good hit, Surge. As an agent dude, I actually think the huge mix of European genetics is pretty interesting, especially across so many vastly different cultures. That's good, then. <laughs> oh, VCOPs, thank you so much for the 25 bits. Hooray! Eight out of eight stars. And Sweet Pierre is gonna- look at that! Seven HP! It's a fucking miracle! <laughs> Ooh. We got some new, um, slots. Pendragon sigil. Huh? <gasps> Bugger. It was just a shadow. Don't put your body into that creepy shadow cat. Did you think I would pick a stoop- What? But I beat you! Mm. My heritage is a bit of a mystery since my mother on my mom's side and my grandfather on my dad's side were both left on doorsteps. Eh? Really? Mm. But I assume white. It's it's pretty safe to... If you look white, it's good to assume white, I guess. <laughs> Have black hair. Actually, that's not always the case, though. Some people are half and they look completely one or the other. And it's like, what does looking like something really mean? So I shouldn't say that have black hair but when I had a beard you could see the red of my beard in three months I'm gonna stop shaving again once it passed my 90 days eh? look at this dude sandbag and fighting you I know he's trying to claim that like did you think I was stupid enough to fight you but it's like you lost though so Pierre has less HP than a literal straw man Pierre 
It's my fault because I let him die on like three boss fights. <clears throat> anyway, did you think I would be stupid enough to pick a fight with a rabid dog? Why, just a shadow of mine is enough to deal with the likes of you. It wasn't, though. Now, Serge, what do you desire from this world? Do you wish to live again? Do you want to erase your demise from the pages of history? What's wrong, Serge? Oh, cutscene, cutscene. What? <laughs> These cutscenes definitely hold up. They look fantastic, don't they? Listen to me. The end of the human world is nigh. When this time comes, Serge, there shall be a deep enmity between you and the world. This is not speculation or prediction. This is history. Um. Hello, purple cats. Bugger, this doesn't look good. You cannot escape. There is something I want to ask you. <gasps> Daddy, but oh my. Don't move a whisker if you want this girl to live. Goodness gracious, who are you? My darling riddle, why you dirty? Shut up, old timer. Our lives are at stake here and there ain't nothing dirty about saving your own life. Just stay calm and quiet, and I won't hurt you, okay? I just need you to come with us till we reach a safer place. I can't do the accent anymore. <laughs> Damn it, I was doing so well. You all right, Serge? Come on, let's bust out of here. I mean, I did want this girl on our team. Don't be foolish. Do you really think you can escape? Oh no. We're blocked in, oh man. You fiend. Take your dirty hands off, Lady Riddle. Uh, oh, okay. What do you take me for, an idiot? Ugh! Serge, this way. I know, I sound like fucking... <laughs> Oi, governor, it's a me. That's even worse. I sound like Mario now. I don't know what's going on. Didn't realize there were so many oddball characters. I'm starting to think that this game is about oddball characters and it's very confusing, but cool. It means I get to have lots of friends. We have you now, you vermin. There is no way out of here. Bloody hell. Let's work out a deal. Release my daughter and I shall let you walk away. How about it? Yeah, right, can't trust ya. Are you willing to jump to your death? Wait, are we? Look out! Uh, <gasps> what? What do you live for? What the fuck? What are you dying for? Ah! I've been waiting for you, Serge. Waiting a long, long time. What the fuck? She just got... Mm. Thank you for the ten bits. For the death, I guess. Waiting for a long, long time for you. Now come to me, Surge, the assassin. What? The Chrono Trigger? Come to me, come to me, Surge. 
No! He wants your SNES cart? No, that's mine. Wait, was that that kid? Why am I in my menu? Oh, <gasps> it wanted me to save. Oh, I'm an idiot. Who is this? You're finally awake. If you're looking for your friends, they're outside. Me? <laughs> Battery on my cart is dead, Serge. Give me that thing, your game cart. I was definitely supposed to save there. Oops, not pause. I can't go into my menu. Rut row. Did you get a good night's rest? You can go outside through that door. Go say hi to your friends. This game is like a Simpsons show introducing a new oddball character every episode. No, no, not that way. You go this way to get out. Hmm. She's alive. Ah, oh, yeah, that kid saved us. Oi, said you finally woke up, eh? Give your thanks to Korcha. He's the one that saved us after we fell off that cliff. No sweat. It's just a part of my job as a ferryman. But I have to admit, you caught me by surprise when you came falling from the sky. You're lucky that it was the sea that cha fell into. <laughs> that cha fell into, not the rocks. But geez, you're such a wuss. How could you get knocked out from such a short fall? As for me, a little graze like this ain't gonna knock me down. Oh, kid. Oh, man, she's burning up. There's a clinic in this village. We should take her there. Why didn't you take her there in the first place? We should... Ugh. Come on, I need your help, too. <laughs> Rest in peace, number two. She has died again. Thank you, B-Cops. It seems the patient has been poisoned with Hydra Venom. I would say the most she has to live is about two days. If we had some Hydra humor... Hydra humor? Humors? Like, oh geez. We would be able to neutralize the poison. If we find this Hydra humor, can we save this girl? Yes, but that's impossible now. Hydras are now extinct on El Nido. What do you mean extinct? What's going on? Hydras are very rare and valuable creatures. One blood bones... Wait. I read Doc as one. I... <clears throat> the blood bones meet every part as valuable. It's considered to be a panacea for various illnesses. That is the reason hydras were hunted to extinction in El Nido. As a result, a whole species has been made extinct just to make a quick fortune. Is there no way to find um this humor? If we could cross um the sea to the mainland, there might um be a chance, right? That is not possible. The currents of El Nido are extremely dangerous this time of year. It's highly improbable to cross the sea unless you are in a large vessel. I like my Mojo's voice. I don't know what he's supposed to sound like, but I like thinking of him as like a little kid. <laughs> Even if you manage to get there, your chances of finding Hydra humor are bleak. We do not have much time. I have two days? Doctor? Hey, Doc, where are you going? Nothing has been resolved yet. 
Excuse me, I need to be alone for a while. Huh? What do you mean you need to be alone for a while? This is not helpful! Doc looks awesome like a character in a great Adam Sandler comedy. Oh no, you're right. Quick, everyone start making Hydra puns. Damn you, Chris. <laughs> Hail Hydra humor. Sir Joan, what are we going home to do? Kid is going home to die home if we leave her home like this. Is, is this some kind of joke? Wait right here, I'll go get the doctor back. Oh! Who the hell are you? Oh, what's this? Non apologies for bumping into moi. Oh la la, don't you know any manners? Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Austin. This is gonna destroy my voice by the end of it. You know, it's a little known secret. You can actually use a giant squid in lieu of Hydra humor, so you'd better get cracking. Wait, what pun did you do, Austin? Thank you for the 32 bits. Eh, what did you say? I missed it. I can't see it. Thank you, though. Haha, -ha, she is down for the count, just as I thought. I don't think they use teas like that. Serge, mon ami. Why don't we just leave her be? Who are you? And what's with that strange costume? Sit there. I have no business with no chicken hawk. I am a conversation with Serge. You're bothering more, so keep your mouth shut. Why, you... I ain't gonna let you barge into this room and get away with all the stuff you've said. You've made me mad. I'll show you some manners. I'm not gonna cut you any slack just because you're a girl. Try if you dare. I am no weak. Huh? I am not so weak as to be caught by a chicken hawk. <laughs> you got some nerve. You're gonna regret it. Charge! Oh. Damn it, where'd she go? Aha, you're amusing. Hmm? Aha, such a simple tone. It's so much fun playing jokes on you. I was only here to see how she was doing. I'm doing German now. <laughs> but I had fun while it was. I was at it. It's hard to read and do so many accents. Help me. So long, Serge. Au revoir, mon ami. Please dream of more every night. We. Oui. A smooch. Backflip disappear. Okay. Ugh, she's a loon. What's her deal? I just don't get it. Yo, Serge, are all of your friends like that? <laughs> yes. Oh. Serge. Hmm? Oh, come on, go talk to her. Uh, okay. Serge, I'll leave this with you. It's my favorite amulet. Astral amulet. I'm feeling a bit tired. I'm gonna rest up for a while. A hydra probably thinks it's regular dragon until its head gets chopped off. That's probably true. You heard what the doc said. There's no more hydras in this world. On top of that, there's no way to get to the mainland, and El Nido isn't that small a place. Are you gonna take a one on a million chance to search for this thing just to save a girl you barely even know? Yes. Hey, what you gonna do? What? Find a way to save her. Alrighty then, I'll come along with you, yay! Eh? Who are we gonna kick out then? Harla's goals. By the way, do you even have a clue where to start looking? Hey, do ya? The mainland. <sighs> this is what I thought. Where in the world should we start? All we have left is that girl's amulet. Damn, what are we gonna do? If only we had some kind of clue. Um... <laughs> Maybe you should go see the shaman. The shaman might be able to give you some clues from that amulet. That's right, the shaman. A shaman? 
That's an unfamiliar word. The shaman inherits the powers of the dragon god and governs the village. Ha? Huh? You know in your heart who's getting booted out? I do. Boot surge? I tried that. I can't. <laughs> the shaman... Mm. They're like a major or chief. The shaman might know something, although I can't say for sure. It's worth a try. We'll continue this outside. Let's decide what to do at the boat. Jeez. There's too many things. Yeah, so many paths. Oh. Huh? Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, you're Luna from Mel's place. What? Mel, what was she up to? Hold the fuck on. Are you telling me that all the cats are... Uh, this game can't make me not trust cats. That's not fair. Choose wisely, no pressure. Thanks. You can hear the guitar work in this track? What's that? It's just a cat. Strange guy. Come on, let's get going. You never get five party members when you need it. I know. Cats should be trustworthy. We need to get going as soon as possible, but you probably need to equip yourselves, right? I'll be waiting here. Call me when you're ready to go. We haven't got much time, so hurry. If you need to see the shaman, go this way. Take the ladder from... What? Take the ladder to the second floor of the merchant tower, then go left. There's a... There's a towel called the Dragon Shrine. These towns are too big. Compared to Termina, this is a small village, so you shouldn't have any problems of getting lost. Every character in this game is actually just a pile of cats in a suit. That also would explain Mojo's wiggles. Jesus Christ. I like how your voice for Korcha is 100% accurate. That's exactly how I thought you would sound. I'm glad. That's um, that's the voice I do for my my Kenku Bar uh Rogue in D and D. Snotty little kid. All right, we need to fix some shit that's going on here. Cure is good. I want that. Here we go. So you can do new things now. Oh my god, a revive. You're not gonna get that though. Um Sue Ice Blast. Turn yellow is not helpful. I could give you a photon ray. What I should give you is turn white so that you can do attacks against things. If you boot a character, can you recruit him again? Uh you can. They don't actually leave your friend group, they just leave your immediate party, and there's like um there's like a, a an inventory option if I'm on the overworld or if I'm at a save triangle pyramid. I'll keep the tablets. I don't need this stuff. Let's give you some cool shit. Arrow saucer. And then... I don't really want you to have that either. We can give you Ice Lance. That's pretty well-rounded. Oh my god, you have a level 4 spell? Level 4 Magnum Bomb might be good. This will be stronger on someone else, and I don't have any other black magic. Let's do Magma Bomb. <laughs> Was wondering when you'd spot the revive. I wonder how long I've had the... This is on my list, but I see myself stressing about friends. I'm already stressing about friends. I totally understand, Ray. But I think the only way we can handle it is to just, like, play it. Ooh. Tablet cure. That's fine there. Photon ray plus one. Fireball. Meteorite. I like meteorite there because it's, like, crazy strong and kills everybody. But I'm thinking I could give you another photon ray, but when people when that guy used the no white stuff, I couldn't use any of his skills. So I'm thinking that's the wrong thing to do. I could give him turn black, but I don't know if I'd use it.
Don't know when you got it, but it wound up being pretty funny. Oh wait, I wanted to give him... Did I already give you revive? Oops. Yeah, I put it in the first spot. Okay. Let's give you a magma bomb. That'll be fine, because then he's more well-rounded. Okay. Much better. Hello. Welcome, traveler. I will trade you materials for your extra elements. Ah, trade! I have a bunch of healy stuff. Welcome. Oh, I don't want this poop. Meh. Dear sirs, you're travelers, right? Although I hesitate to do so, I have a favor to ask of you. I received this bone from a trader, but I would like you to set it adrift in the seas. I'm sure its real owner would like to have it return to nature. So can you fulfill my request? Sure. Why, thank you. Here it is. Please take good care of it. Pelvic bone? Okay. Equipment is essential to protect yourself from danger. It's times like this when you need the latest goods. I'm still just an apprentice smith, but my passion for work is golden. Upgrade equipment? What do you mean upgrade? Forge, yeah. Wait a second. Disassemble? Eh? <gasps> I can disassemble my poopy stuff. So these are equipped, so I don't want to do that. I have so many extra ivory helmets. Hey, this is nice. I'm so, wait, I have all this crap. Eh? Hey? Hey, Fitzy Pigeon. Yeah, humors. Alright, let's see what we can make. Oh my god. Look how low down Pierre is. What did I do? Fuck. Oh my god. Oh, I need more leather? I thought I just got some. I can make this. Can I equip from here? Aww. Oh my god, stop. Worse. But it's better for those two. Eh? What's the difference? I think this is just better. Yeah. Okay. Thanks a bunch. Stop by again. I will. So that you can tear apart my old stuff. Oh, <sighs> alright. Copper swallow. Ooh. That's a nice buff. What else do you have in here? It's all bad. Oh no. Mail. Hero shield. Oh. It's better than a knee pad, though. There's gotta be specific stuff for each specific person. How much is that lowering my evade by? Three points? That's fine. He's got a lot of health. Protects against poison. Increase the amount of HP you have during battle. I like that, though. And magic defense up. I like the silver. All right. Bone sword is bone sword is ready. I love that. All right, what else do you have? I'm pretty happy though. I just want to disassemble the things that I just took off. Stockpiled. Yes. Yes. No. Hmm. 
No, come back. I want to talk to you. Let me rest a little bit. Even though I might look strong, I only have the strength of an average human. Eh? Are you a cat person? I hope time isn't actually passing in this game because... What are you? The demi-humans in this village get along with humans, but many others of our kind still hold a grudge against humans. They're like a bug person. I love it. Those that were driven off the mainland gathered to build the village of Marble. It's on the big island way down southeast from here. It's Ant-Man. I love bug people. Marble. Which is demi people or demi humans? Big island down southeast. I wonder if that's the thing I saw exploding. It was a big island that looks like it, had, it exploded in my weird vision. It's Piccolo. Hope his name is Paul. Sorry to be abrupt, but have you ever come across a shiny material? Shiny material? Elements are common items nowadays, but there's a special kind called summon elements. Oh my god, there's summons? This kind releases awesome power depending on one of the six attributes. The shiny material is a mysterious byproduct of this phenomenon. <gasps> summons! This material is an essential item for craftsmen to forge advanced weapons, armors, and accessories. Still, everything depends on the skill of the craftsman. This game is so big! Right? There's so much stuff in this game! <gasps> Another life about to slip through my hands, just like before. Nothing has changed at all by studying medicine. Man, I'm so powerless. Wait! Orla? This is the girl that was with me in the very, very beginning of the game. So, are you going to just give up on this life? That's not the case, is it? If you don't, who else will help her back from the edge of death, life and death? I don't know your past. Living bound by the past is a very painful thing. You need to face reality head on. Running away isn't a sin, but it accomplishes nothing. But I... One thing is different from the past. You have the ability to heal. Everyone in that village recognizes that. Don't suffer by yourself. If you give up now, you'll never be freed from your past. Now go. Don't let it end without doing something first. I have done them a discourtesy. I am a failure as a doctor, but I must do what I can. Thanks, Orla. I gave him too deep of a voice. I thought he would be on screen for like five seconds. I was wrong. Let's not go in right now. Oh my god, are they kissing? It's secret. The population is lower compared to the past. Old customs and lores might fade away with time. Some people I can talk to twice. Okay, not you though. Imagined him as a surfer bro voice. Mm, that's probably more correct. I think I thought of, I was like, what would a doctor sound like? Deep voiced and sad. And then I saw his picture and it was too late. Why does that doctor look like a hamster from Harajuku? <gasps> We're a small village, but we have some rare elements you won't find in bigger towns. Gimme. Bye. Bushwhacker arrow uplift. Electro jolt photon, meteorite. Gravity blow. Blows away the foe with a ball of pure hell yeah. Hell soul attempts to remove the soul from the foe's body. I think this is what they tried to do to my 
grassy boy, but they couldn't, probably because he doesn't have a soul. Gimme. I want another meteorite. In fact, I want one more of each of these, just in case. He 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 he. I have so many tablets, I don't feel like I need them. Dark magic for Mojo? Heck yeah, is right. Blows them all away with a ball of pure hell, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Please be careful when traveling the seas. Have a safe voyage. Thanks. Let me just um put this hell spell you gave me onto my scarecrow friend. Let's see. What level are you? Beep bop boop ba dee bop ba boop. This is gonna turn into this. Wait, where is it? Oh no! Level two. Can I not have? There we go. Um, we can switch that up. Now he has three. That's better. I think that's fine for now. Dark Mojo. Mojo has to stay on our team. As a man of the sea, you gotta be on your toes whether you're on land or manning the ship. I always pay close attention to my element placement. You have to think about terrain and attribute, attribute condition, so it's pretty complicated. Thanks, game, for telling me you're complicated. Far off in the eastern Almedo Sea, there's a village Marbul, homeland to us demi-humans. But my friends, they're hate humans. Oh, we're definitely gonna go there. Can't touch any more of your stuff. Give me your stuff. This town is mine now. Now this place reminds me of Besed. To the north of this village lies Earth Dragon Isle. Mm. Earth Dragon Isle. Be good if I could spell Isle. It's right in front of me. I spelled it right. To the north? Which we locals call the land where the dragon sleeps. Until a few years ago, the surface was covered with sand, but somehow the sand disappeared completely overnight. What do they have on Earth Dragon Isle? Earth Dragons. How did you get up there? This is the residential tower. Eh? Let me in. Oh, it's you. Oh, it's gorgeous, Ma. Oh, hi there. There isn't much here, but feel free. Feel right at home. Thanks. You guys don't have a save thing, huh? I'm gonna touch your stuff, kid. Touch, 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 touch. It's an anglerfish. <laughs> I take notes during every game. <laughs> I have to. I'll get lost otherwise. Or I might miss something. You're new around here, right? Do you know what these wires here are, eh, are here for? If you don't know, I'll teach you for a special price of five gold. All right, I'll pay the five gold. Before teaching you, I'll need that five gold now. Hee <laughs> hee. You paid five gold. Okay, here goes a quick rundown of the whole gadget. This wire connects to the docks. There is also a second wire connected to the shrine. Basically, it's a shortcut to the docks. You can get there a lot faster than walking. Plus, it feels great. Well, the only problem is that you can't come back. You can't defy gravity, you know? Thanks, kid. Thought there was someone else up here with you. Queen of notes and games, hell yeah. See, Jen took notes too. I'm not alone. Yes, do you want to become the wind? Become the wind. What? I'll take your five gold. Hee <laughs> hee, thanks. Okay, ready? Have a safe flight. Wee! Oh, that's cool. Mmm, load screen. Delicious. <sighs> I would like to save game. 
I'm sorry that I didn't save when you gave me the chance. Alright, let's see if there's anything else to touch or steal. And we'll check on her before we go. Oh, the doctor's back. Don't give up hope. We will do our best to save her. I will do what I can. You dudes, go do whatever you can for her. To be perfectly honest, without the antidote, her chances of survival are close to zilch. But we cannot give up hope without a fight. Fuck you, dude. Do you think that's supposed to make me feel better? Oh, fuck, I can't talk to her. Alright, kid, hang in there. I definitely did his voice wrong. He's definitely supposed to be a surfer bro. Whoops. Now he's a really serious deep voice surfer bro. Alright, let's check to see if there's anything else. I'm gonna go with probably not. Wait, maybe we can put this into the sea then. Pelvic bone. No, I can't do it yet. Yeah, that is certainly an emote. <laughs> Did you guys see the news that Twitch um, isn't making you put all the different emote sizes in anymore? Oh wait, maybe I can go in there. They'll resize them for you now. Which is nice, but you can still do it the other way too. I like that. Oh! What the hell is that? It hasn't rained around here for the longest time. The traders say the water on Water Dragon Isle has dried up too. Just a bunch of Different element emo islands. Yeah, I'm glad they kept both options. It's nice because you know sometimes the resizing stuff makes them look wonky, but I really appreciate that for convenience. Not everyone has the ability to to get good. It costs more, you know, is what I'm trying to say. That wind brings back memories. Hey, boy, you're from the main island. Do you know the Hydra marshes? Yes. I tried to go in there, it was full of poison. It's the forest to the southeast. Although they're called the Hydra Marshes, there are no more Hydras there. Everyone left that forest after the Hydras died off. I too left that forest. That place ain't fit for living creatures anymore. Mm. Can I play darts? Man, that would've been cool. Oh, hello, talk to me. Welcome, it's a small shop, but feel free to relax. I had a vision about you, I think. Who are you? For crying out loud, how many times do I have to tell you n not to come behind the ca- uh, Oh, hey, you're an unfamiliar face. But you're just a customer as well, so you go. You're in my way. I can't steal your stuff. Orla! Please. Thank you. Yeah, that little dancing dude is fun. Cleaned up a couple of emotes and it was so much easier to upload. Oh, that's so nice! Hell of a pickup line, I had a vision about you. It's true though! I started- oh. My partner's a demi-human, but he's got no energy. Jeez, he's worthless. What the fuck? You were in my dreams? Wait, why are you running? But it's true. <sighs> Guess there's no save points. The Dragon Shrine is to the left of the second floor of the Merchant Tower. Oh, oops. Don't forget to get ready. Oh, okay. Dragon Tower to the... <clears throat> what? Am I dumb? I should have actually listened to what he said. I didn't see a place to- oh, there is a place to go left up here! No stress if you can't find save points. Oh, that's right, the world map. Okay, good. Haha, <laughs> I missed a whole part of town, haha. <laughs> hmm. Um, would you like to become the wind? I won't become the wind. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, <gasps> kitty! Mew! Say, have you ever heard the six- Have you heard of the six dragons? In this world, there's supposedly six dragon gods somewhere out there. The six great dragons descend from the heavens to seal away the evil and to promise eternal prosperity across the land. 
This is part of an old song that's been passed down in El Nido for a long time. I wonder what they look like. Eh, uh, okay, that's probably really important. Six dragons, huh? And hydras. A lot of fantasy creatures. This is the dragon shrine. Residence of our chief shaman, uh, Derea. Be sure to act courteously on the premises. You mean run around? Break things and steal? There's nothing here. Damn. How can I be rowdy? <sighs> nice world map you have there. It'd be a shame if something were to happen to it. Mm. <gasps> Ooh! Welcome to the Dragon Shrine. I'm Stina, the shaman serving. Ch Ooh, she's cool looking! I am Stina, the shaman serving village chief and high priestess of Dorea. I presume that you have come to the shrine seeking assistance. Please don't hesitate to ask Chief Dorea for guidance. Hey, there's a save. You possess a young but gentle air about you. Huh? There's an odd wind that is whirling about. I've heard that such wind bears appear at times, but... Do you speak the truth? That you are already dead in this world? Hmm, I see. So that's why you have an odd air about you. As for a way to return to your original world, I do not know. But there are always reasons why such phenomena occur. The land of Genesis? Your only key may lie there. What the f- Land of Genesis. The key that connects your world to this one. Shall we say, it is a dimensional distortion of sorts. If events in your world are different from events here, it may be possible to save the girl, stricken with the Hydra poison. That is, if the extinct Hydra still exists in your world. Oh! Okay, that's cool. Oops, no! Not save. We even saved in two hours. Oh. Fuck, that feels better. Now, what does it say? Where ripples become waves. Yeah, gotta love the translucent hair. Translucent hair where her eye shows. El Nido has long been called the land where the dragons sleep. There are islands named after dragons and numerous Dragonian ruins and artifacts. You may have encountered some of these already. The most famous are the islands of Sky Dragon, Earth Dragon, and Water Dragon. Okay, so we know where the Earth one is. I don't think we've heard anything about the other two. And the ancient ruin Fort Dragonia that lies to the east. Fort Dragonia East. Of the many Dragonian ruins, Fort Dragonia is one of the few that's still fully functional. The key to activate this ruin is the Dragon's Tear. It was given to our ancestors by the extinct Dragonians as a symbol of our friendship. It has been passed down through successive shamans, but... It was stolen and taken away from Goldov by an unknown assailant. Their intent is unknown, but if they plan to re to activate the ancient ruin, a great disaster shall come about. Our people have been searching for it, but we have found no trace of it. What was it called? I will answer your questions to the best of my knowledge. What would you like to know? Dragon Tear. Dragon Tear. So that's an item we're going to have to look out for. <laughs> uh, 
Dragon Time. Land of Genesis. The Land of Genesis. I have no idea where it may lie. But all phenomena have their reasons. I feel that there is some other will acting behind this. Something other than the fact that you are dead in this world. He's fine. The Dragon Tear. It is a one-of-a-kind orb that our ancestors received from the now-extinct Dragonians. Traditionally, it was passed down to each successive shaman, but someone has taken it away from Guldov. Tell me about the ruins. The Dragonian artifacts are the many buildings and sculptures still found on El Nido today. But most of these have weathered away, and only a small portion of them remain intact. The only one that retains its complete form is Fort Dragonia, which we've discussed before. So, Fort Dragonia is a Dragonian rune. I love dragons, so I hope there are really dragons. It stands at the peak of Mount Pyre, and I feel... Like Mount Pyre was a place... In Chrono Trigger. This is a lot of information. All right, the six dragon gods. As you may well know, the natural world is composed of a balance of six elements. These elements are white, black, red, blue, green, and yellow. Each one pairs up with another to maintain the balance which the natural world relies upon. The gods that represent each element are called the dragon gods. Since they symbolize the powers of nature, they are also commonly referred to as gods of nature. If the sun is white, the shadow is black, the flame red, the water blue, green are the leaves of the forest and the blowing winds, yellow are the forces of Mother Earth. Eh? That's kind of confusing, the yellow part. A frozen flame? That is something we've not heard of in these parts. But there is something about flames in the oral lore of our tribe. I do not know if this is related to the flame you speak of, but allow me to share it with you. Yes. Be very careful when you stare into the flame, for the flame will also stare back at you. It will either transform you into a different being or burn you into ashes. What? <laughs> That's basically what fucking happened when I looked at that thing on the table that we decided wasn't the frozen flame. So it's a staring contest. <gasps> Ashen one. Did Nietzsche get into this? Maybe. If it was Final Fantasy, it'd have some convoluted naming system. They would. That was some Firekeeper ASMR. Ugh. Hire me to do voice acting work. I won't be good at it, but I'll have fun. <laughs> I heard you laugh, Rain. In an old poem of El Nido, there is a phrase that refers to the dragon sealed away by the six dragons. This phrase follows after it. The evil flame that sought to engulf the world. An evil flame. If this refers to the frozen flame, it should not be in the hands of humans. Yet the truth about this story is unknown. <sighs> Hire me, losers. That's all for now. May your journey be blessed with the guidance of the six great dragon gods. Thanks. Hey, old lady, you got anything else to say? One must choose their own path, but as long as we are human, one will sometimes become lost. I'm definitely going to become lost. I pray that your journey be blessed by the guidance of the great six dragon gods. Oops, I didn't want to talk to you again. I'm sorry. Spoilers, the story is convoluted and makes zero sense. Hooray! All right, we got a lot of information though, so that's great. Let's become the wind. I will become the wind. Two gold, I'll pay two gold. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Well, please become the wind. A one and a two. Okay, stand by. Wee. Two grandpas. That'll be two grandpas, please. 
Even for a JRPG, it's pretty twisted. <laughs> Tend not to think about it and just enjoy the music. Oh boy. There have... There have been so many just normal NPCs we've spoken to have said really like deep ther therapy type things, so I'm a little... I can, I can feel that, Mr. Toasty, I feel it. Are you ready to go? Ready at any time. Are you really sure? Don't you dare tell me you want to come back later. Think about it really carefully. Are you positively sure? Fuck. Hold on. Then get yourself ready. Someone's life depends on it, so hurry up. Jeez. Oh, uh, Mr. Toasty, thank you. Uh, we are doing this completely blind, so please don't tell me anything. I don't want hints. I don't want suggestions. I want to mess it up my way. <laughs> but thank you for offering. <sighs> Alright. Can I please speak to her before I go? No? Yeah. Alright. Okay, I think I did everything here that I want to do. What have we messed up so far? Plenty, I'm sure. If you guys do want to talk about that stuff, don't forget that you can join the Discord. Join the Discord, and there is a Spoil City channel where you guys are welcome to discuss everything that I've messed up. <laughs> I do not look in there. I have it completely uh, muted, um, so you're welcome to do that uh, if you need to get it off your chest. I will say you cannot get everyone. Yes, I. That is like the only thing that I know is that I cannot get everyone. Uh, Stape Cape, <laughs> thank you for following. Welcome. Uh, all I know, all I was told at the beginning is that you cannot do everything. You will have to make decisions. You will not be able to get all the characters because Rain knows that like I would want to get them all, and I would feel bad if it was a thing that I could do and I messed it up. So I'm, I'm doing my best to. Do this blind and not be paranoid if I if I mess something up because it's not messing it up, it's just playing the game my way. Ah, <laughs> oh, hello! Love this game. Watched my dad play it when I was a kid and was super captivated. Oh, that's so cute! That's lovely. Alright, I'm ready to go. But there are so many. I'm at this point, I'm just believing that anybody with a name is someone that I can recruit. Ready at any time. Are you really sure? Don't you dare tell me you want to come back later. Think about it really carefully. I'm ready. All right, we're off. All you get, all of you get in the boat. All right, I'll get in your rickety boat. Actually, it looks pretty cool. I like this boat. Spoiler scorch is dumb. I know people tend to rag on this one, but I super love it. The character design is so good. All of the characters, I have to say, it's really easy for me to come up with voices for characters because they're all so unique and feel so well written. And the localization is insanely good. Whoa. Okay, so that's, hold on. Uh, so to the north, Try to see if I can understand. So this is the mainland, which means to the north from here is Earth Dragon Isle, and then east. We're also we have a, a one of the only hints for a person to find is someone named Shelley, who was who joined the circus and her grandma misses her from this town. Oh no, we're back to the jar hop music. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm I'm trying really hard. I usually don't do voices, but I'm doing a I'm doing my best. Uh no, we're about um eight no. Nine and a half hours into the game. I but you know, we're reading all the dialogue, we're checking everything, so I don't think we're particularly far. If you don't want to be spoiled, get the guidebook. It's that inaccurate? Oh no! I tried to read the beginning of the manual and it was full of spoilers and everyone was yelling at me to stop, so I put it down. <laughs> the voices are draining, yeah. Hey! But it's fun. Who said that you could dock that thing there? 
Get that thing out of here right now. Hey, don't be such a hard head. It's not like we're robbing from anyone. Besides, nobody else is docking here, right? That's not the point. What I'm trying to say is... Here, keep it. You, you can't bribe me with some... <gasps> the, the delicious scent and this subtle texture. This must be the famous rare drink of Dragonians, the dragon's glory. What? I thought this might happen, so I snagged some from my ma's kitchen. Uh, all right, I'll give you special permission this time, but next time I might not be so easy when that happens. Don't worry, I'll get some more for you. Yeah, is it booze? <laughs> Very well. <laughs> You're pretty quick for a kid. If you don't hurry, that girl's gonna die. Jesus! I know. You guys can't do this alone. Why don't you let me come along? Hell yeah. Spoiler, this game is a sequel to Ninja Gaiden 2. I... Temporarily. I'm gonna keep all the names. Oh no! I don't want your name to be... Okay. <gasps> no, what have I done? Ah! Oh, there we go. <laughs> Aorcha. I want to keep all the names because I want to. I want to know them. I want to learn about them. Tor Borcha is a great name. Now, all right. I'm sorry, Pierre. He has so much health. Yeah, sorry, Pierre. Morcha. Remember, kids. If you want to get out of trouble, keep your ma's booze on you at all times. I can't switch Mojo. I love him too much. I've become very attached to Lucky D. Me like working, but work all day tiring need rest. When me rest, overseer mad, me have hard time. All right, we definitely talked to that guy before. So, thought it'd be Porcha. Matcha, Matcha's a good name. He's not green though. We're very sorry, but the event has been postponed indefinitely due to a min minor- Oh, minor break-in! <gasps> Please go to the ticket booth for a refund. That was me. I did it. I'm the break-inner. Breaker-inner. Need to buy more bean water. You kill Ganondorf for the Triforce? Eh? Wait, what's going on in here now? Sounds like Nikki was snooping around Viper Manor. What? He won't tell us why, but something really shocked him. Is Nikki here? <gasps> Are you the beautiful man? Wait, this is the girl. Oh, she's so cute. She has a moon on her head. Mm. Oh, the concert's been postponed. Nikki's acting strange. I just want to pack up and hurry out of Termina for crying out loud. Hey, be my friend. No! Where's the handsome man? He looks like he's in a visual K-band. Where are the twin backup dancers? I'm you and she's me. Yeah, yeah. I talked to you before. Uh, Seth Seromas, thank you for following. Thank you, thank you. Kombucha. Kombucha can be good. <gasps> Wait. What's happening up here? Can I go in? You said it right. Hey! <laughs> oh, thank you. Finally, I said somebody's name right. Forgot about how much I love the music. This music's incredible. Are you a big tea person? Me? Um, not really. I've tried many, many times. I don't really dig caffeine. And it's rare for me to actually like it. But I try. I try to like it. <laughs> that is a great mashup of Final Fantasy names. This area is off limits. All non-staff members keep out. I've been doing my best to stop. I usually drink juice, but it's really sugary. So I've been trying to drink water. But I don't drink coffee at all. It's yucky to me. I also don't drink alcohol because it's also yucky to me. No tea. I try, Yuri. I try so hard. I try to drink tea. It usually makes me really sweaty. 
Because the caffeine doesn't agree with me. Old lady. Unfortunately, Nikki's concert has been cancelled because of the going-ons at Viper Manor. Just when I was getting ready to show off my moves to Nikki's Rad Tunes. That's amazing. Yeah, more tea and coffee for you guys. Oh my gosh, thank you for the host setzer. Thank you, thank you. Know a lot of people that don't like kombucha? I think um, the reason I like kombucha is because I, I used to be required to go to... Heck yeah, Stella Jupiter. Are they still in here? I used to go to, um... <gasps> you love Stella Jupiter? Me too! Sailor Moon is, like, my favorite thing. Um, I used to have to go to work events where, where drinking was heavily encouraged, and so I would get kombucha on tap at a place. Uh, the place that we would always go. I have played another story, but not on stream, and I don't think I finished it. But that's what the sprites are from. I heard the Radical Dreamers broke into Viper Manor to search for the Frozen Flame. Ha, huh, I don't know what they were thinking. Even Master Viper wouldn't have such a valuable treasure. I think he did. Ah, oh, yeah. We just played Final Fantasy IV last, last game, so it was very good. This guy thinks that some frozen flame is just some kind of jewel or something. I'd say things aren't that easy. It's probably a monster of some sort. We also played six a couple months ago. <laughs> so <laughs> both games are covered. Once you gaze at it, boom, you're well done like a steak on a barbecue. Oops, I walked out. <laughs> yeah, we played the SNES version and it was, um, was not translated well, <laughs> but it was still amazing. The thieves that broke into Viper Manor took Miss Riddle hostage and ran away with the treasure. Luckily, Miss Riddle was all right, but the dragoons are still looking for the thieves. They tried to kill Miss Riddle. Did you hear? There's a rumor that Karsh plotted Dario's death. I know it sounds odd, but the two were longtime rivals. Also, Karsh was the only one there when Dario died. I guess we'll never know the truth, but Karsh is the number one suspect, if you ask me. He did not say that before, I don't think. Oh my gosh. Eh, talk. Welcome to the Dragon's Tale. Wait. You had a picture last time, I thought. Oh, you're the travelers, aren't you? That's okay, I can tell by the way you look. So what do you think of Termina? This part of town just loves travelers. We definitely already heard this. All right. Eat other things! It's locked! Farts. Tell us a spoony bard in all of them. can't just drop an iconic, iconic line like that. I wish that I'd heard it myself. I'm kind of bummed because people kept posting it before it happened. I was like, what are you guys talking about? There's got to be someone else we can be friends with. We already talked to you too. Damn it. I want to find this musician. Oh, who are you? Just the other day, I went on my usual trip to the Shadow Forest to gather wild plants. Believe it or not, I found a real blue tip mushroom. I envy you. This mushroom only sprouts sprouts one day of the year. Okay. Well, yeah, we definitely talked to him. The tree with the hole. This is the way that I wanted to go to get into the manor. And then I talked to Pierre and he was like, no, we go through the front. You can't leave now. Blur, blur, blur. He ruined my plan. Oops, there was a cat in there. We didn't touch it. I suppose I could just leave. Okay. Yeah, Pierre really wanted to go right in the front. He was like, don't worry, I am an adventurer and they'll let me in. They didn't. They were like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Thank you. For the energies. Okay. 
We have to go back in time somehow. <gasps> no, there was a place that I wanted to go to see if What's-Her-Face was there. I know, I'm ruining the music. I'm sorry. A thief snuck into Viper Manor. My, my, there are some bad people in this world. I hope dear Glenn and all are okay. Glenn, I want to refine Glenn. Remember not liking Pierre? Pierre is fine. He's definitely something. <gasps> Let's track Corchus portrait. portrait. scribble dee doo Beautiful. Huh? You've met the Nouveau Riche over there? He's stuck up now, but he and I used to study art together. He was the best of us all, but ever since his beloved wife died, he's all about money, money, money. He's completely changed. It's a pity that he's used... He's used his skills to make money out of counterfeit paintings. Oh! That must be, um... Van and Go. Or Goff. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce Van Gogh. I know I do it wrong, though. Ah, they're not selling at all. A Viper Festival isn't a Viper Festival until you've had Vipers churros, right? This isn't going well. I'm setting a bad example for my little brother. Shoot, do you think 100 gold is too much for one churro? That's too much. Just as I thought, I had a hunch that it was just a tad too much. How much would you charge for it? I don't know, like 40 gold? Hmm, maybe just a tad more. Who might you be? Fortunes be good, fortunes be bad. Anything from reading your destiny to searching for missing. Yes, I want you to read Corches. Your fortune reads that it is hopeless love. I'm sorry, but you've got to give up. Ah, don't give me such baloney. Eh? All right, and then we got an interesting one for Mojo. I wonder if it's the same now. There is someone, no, a thatch of straw that is most dear to you in this vicinity. See? And I found like a straw guy, but it wasn't right. Sometimes you'll discover some rare stuff at the flea market. Mind you, this is just between you and me. I'm hoping that the frozen flame will pop up here. I've got to check everything. Jeez, imagine. Oh, hey, Emperor Frog. Good afternoon. My motto as a collector is all or nothing. The only way to find something is to check everything. That's very true. Th this is just an old candle. Wow. Way to suck, loser. Hey, jerk. Ah, oh, Korcho, what are you doing to disturb my business again? Go on, beat it. Come now, gather around, see for yourself. I'm selling rare goods. I hate you. You have a mermaid trapped in there. Yeah, he just does a bunch of crap. I can get anywhere else. What a jerk. Who are you? Okay, this guy overslept. That's fine. I mean, it's probably not fine for him, but it's fine for me because he says the same thing. Alright, this is where I wanted to go. Hmm? Greco? Who is this? He's like a wrestler. Oh, blessed child. Flow with the river. Huh? Wait, is someone dead? Oh, I gotta come up with a voice. Like a wrestler voice, maybe. Hmm. What does Rey Mysterio sound like? Eh. I don't remember what Rey Mysterio sounds like. I don't think he, like, ever talks. I heard you laugh. Wow, you guys really like him? Voice, voice him like the boulder. Oh, blessed child. <laughs> the boulder. That, that, this is supposed to be serious. <clears throat> oh, blessed child. Flow. Why? Go for Eddie Guerrero voice. Oh, God. He's been gone for so long. I don't remember what he sounds like either. Flow with the river and rest in peace. 
when thou returneth to this world once again, might thou greet thine father and mother with a blessed smile. <laughs> Brother, come, please say your last farewells. <laughs> Why do you sound so happy? Why did such a sweet child have to... My only wish was to drink with you when you were grown up. Why? Why did you have to leave us so? Mm. The boat shall now cut adrift. The, I can't... Your son's spirit shall ascend to heaven with your warm blessings. Is that anything? Hell yeah, also wrestling, Finn. Not as much in the last year or so, but... Everything that has form must eventually fade away. Although that may, fe may be nature's way, I feel my heart being torn apart at times like these. Why must we face death? And who is the one that decides when we die? Gets, I have not yet seen the light, amigo. <laughs> Dear passing stranger, if you have a moment to spare, please give this wandering soul a small prayer to guide him on his path. Hmm. Oh, I got back into wrestling in 2018. That's lovely. I used to, um... We used to watch all the pay-per-views. And then like a year or two ago, probably when you started getting into it again, we, we kind of fell off. Because our, um, our friends who used to come over to watch um, Royal Rumble and WrestleMania moved. So it's kind of, it felt lonely. Oh, hey, Capitalist Pig. Must have somehow been gifted. Yes, <laughs> lots of gifted subs lately. I hope you enjoy your emotes. <laughs> Why did such a sweet child have to? Hey, tell me about your dead child. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm sorry. Royal Rumble is the best pay-per-view per every year. It is the only fun event left. Well, some of them are okay, but it really depends on who's on the roster. Maybe you could Discord party to watch them now? <gasps> Maybe we could do Discord party to watch them now. Hmm. Hold on, I'm gonna write that in my notes. Discord wrestling. That might be really fun. Who are some of my favorite wrestlers? My first favorite wrestler was Shawn Michaels. <laughs> Beneath the sacred sword, the warriors lie. 13th Acacia Dragoon. Yeah, so Garai and then Dario. I don't know who Garai is, though. They haven't mentioned them. HBK, hell yeah. Give you a good old kick to the face. Um, he was my favorite. I really liked... Um, Jeff and Matt Hardy because when I first started watching it was in like 2005 um. oh god not not born again HBK I mean like DX HBK when he was uh, with Triple H when they had fun I don't like weird like Ted Nugent style HBK that's been going on Please take any of your inquiries to Greco over there. Hello, Greco. Join my friend party. Hmm. Are you really a human who does not exist in this world? You are now drifting between the boundaries of life and death. You are too young to be taken into the arms of darkness. Although it is in my best interest to aid you, my duty is to watch over the spirits here. It's all right, Greco. I'll be here to keep things in order. Romana, you are still too young to take on such a task. The spirits are always looking for a chance to draw the living into the darkness. But my brother Gets, Gets? But my brother Gets was able to save you from being drawn into the darkness. He gave his life to help you. <gasps> I'm the sister of Gets. A small thing now and then won't get me down. It's time. This time you must save this one from the darkness. I think Gets deserves that also. See, you must be right. I believed that only the only way to make up for my mistakes to Getz was to live in hiding for the rest of my life. I realized that I was only trying to escape from my responsibilities. May I assist you in escaping the darkness, amigo? Yes, please. 
Greco tags into your party! Yay! Uh, oh, you love DX? That was around the same time you started watching. Yeah, 2005 to te or 9 was when I was really, really into wrestling. It was like high school to college. Amazing to see. The Rock has like gotten very far. This is exciting. Eh? But who am I going to switch out? I should name him Boulder. B O U L D. It doesn't fit. Greco is the only one I kind of want to change. I could name him 619. Russell, Russell Priest. If someone told me 20 years ago The Rock would be the next Schwarzenegger, I know, right? Boulder with an R. Name him HBK. He's not cool enough to be HBK. He hasn't shown me that he can kick with his legs and also be really cute and sing a really bad theme song of himself. Rick? Like Ric Flair? I don't like Ric Flair. Sting? No, it's gotta be, it's gotta be, um, it's gotta fit his, uh, mask. Boulders. Greco's name is Gilbert in Japanese. Will Mysterio fit? M Y S T. No. Too long. Nacho? I wanna name him 619. And then only true wrestling fans will get it. Booyaka, booyaka, 619. I'm a fucking nerd. <laughs> this isn't good. I can't call him 619. I have the HBK docu documentary. I've seen John dance. It's not a pretty sight. He's got like one move. It's true. Watch my age show. I got into wrestling because I spent the night at my friend's house and his dad rented WrestleMania 3 in 87. I was nine. Oh, that's so good. Ricky Steamboat. No, this doesn't feel right. Fuck, maybe I should make it Greco. How do I backspace? Couldn't even Eddie. That's sad, though. But Eddie would be a good tribute. Let's name him Eddie. El Fuerte. Penta? You rooted for the million dollar man? Strong bad? Strong bad definitely doesn't fit. I'm going with Eddie. Thanks for your help, nerds. I figured it out myself. That's like, ugh. Yeah, I like it. Million Dollar Man was an incredible heel. Russell, his name is Eddie. Rest in peace, Eddie Guerrero. Uh, Timothyan, <laughs> thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Strong Bad would be good though your face when you read that someone rooted for the million dollar man was palpable disgust and I love it. Ah, crud. Alright, Korcha has to be in the party. What kind of magic do you do? Red? I don't want to lose Mojo. But maybe we should use our new people. In this house we stand Tiger Millionaire. Aw, oh, Yuri. My heart. When Eddie said he didn't like his teddy, you knew he was a no good kid. The true story is that I met both of them. Ted is so much kinder and less greedy in real life than the real- I mean, Hulk Hogan is a big trash human. Let's get that just out of the way. He's a terrible person and I hate him. But the problem with wrestling is that like most of the people involved in the establishment are like complete trash dumpster humans who support Trump. So like, there's no winning. Watching wrestling, I feel bad when I watch wrestling, and I think I should. I think I should feel guilty about it. But Hogan, Hogan is the worst. He's a bad person. As a nine-year-old, seeing him body slam Andre the Giant was life. Agreed. Yeah. But unfortunately, he's a dumpster. Like to think that Macho Man was cool. See, you'd hope. 
You guys should watch, if you haven't seen it already, you guys should watch the Andre the Giant documentary on HBO. It's gonna make you really fucking sad, but it, it taught me a lot of stuff I didn't know. Probably why Hogan played a heel so well. I just want them to let Ric Flair rest. He looks like a bag of skin on top of a bag of bones, and it makes me incredibly sad. Leave him alone. His daughter's already taken over. Oh, that John. He's working to become a hero, but I wonder if he'll ever tell me I'll be your hero. Huh? Eh? Ric Flair and Undertaker needs his need to retire. Every time Undertaker comes back, it stresses me out because he looks like he's dying. <sighs> I'm working hard to become a future hero. The first step to heroism is building a good physique. That's why I'm running laps around here. This is where we found um, Pierre. It is just hopeless. Although these two are brothers, right, so these two are fighting. This is where Dario and Glenn used to live. Yeah, we already did this. Shoot. Hey, Vermillion. Welcome. Undertaker is eternal. Stresses me out. It stresses me out, man. And the eyeliner he wears, it just gets worse looking every time. Oh, oh be safe grocery shopping. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much for, uh, for joining us. Eh? He's here again. Just as I thought, you are no good without moi. Eh? Fuck you. Ah, uh, if you hit exclamation point discord, you will get a link to the discord. Anybody can join. You don't have to be a sub, so don't sweat it. First experience with wrestling was interrupting my cartoons on Saturday morning and I hated it. That's a legit concern. Take your- oh, this is the Irish guy. Take your business up at the counter. Alright, alright, alright. Ah, oh, you have a good day, too. From 2005 to 2018, dropped off in the past year. Hmm. All right. These are the really good blacksmiths, so let's see what we can do. Frank Zappa? It's Zappa and Zippa. Isn't that great? Oops, no. Forge. I want this, but I can't find any iron. Oh! Okay. So... Why well, hate president speeches? Interrupting my TV for what big news? I don't- I haven't watched normal TV in a million years. Besom Ku 20 What the fuck are these? So he uses gloves, just like our straw boy. Mm. And what's his face is only oh, a lure. It's only temporarily in our party. Oh shit, I should check what they have equipped. <laughs> There's an amazing material called the rainbow that can be forged into very fine items. When we were young, we went out searching for it for ourselves, but we never found it. We've stopped searching when Karsh was born. You're Karsh's parents? Children are far more valuable than any treasure, you know. But that man hasn't been shut down yet. Who knows when he might be... Eh? Might yell out that he's going back on his search. Eh. Rainbow. That's just like in the other one, too. So not only are we looking for a dragon tear, we're looking for a rainbow. Garfield and Friends. Garfield and Friends used to come on after Sailor Moon. Alright, let's see what you got. Nothing! You've got a lot of nothing. That's concerning. What do you have? A lot of nothing. Your element is... What? Korcha is blue, Eddie is red. It's the opposite of what they're wearing, I hate that. Korch is blue, Eddie's red. Believe it or not, Karsh is one of the few RPG characters with both parents still alive. Isn't that nice? Man. I bought all this cool stuff too. I think I changed my mind. Crap.
I should have bought more of this stuff. I want my scarecrow back. I want my scarecrow back. I don't even know if you can use that. Some Korcha for Mojo. It's clearly the correct option. Yeah. No, because like it's specifically the story wants me to have Korcha here. He's a temporary he's a temporary member, not like a normal member, I think. Hmm. You have too much shit. Shoot. Boo Korcha? Mojo or Riot? Oops, this shouldn't go here. Sort of nothing. He has a headbutt move. Should I give you a heal yet? Could use one, right? Sure. So before I switch people, I should be stripping them of their magic stuff. Or maybe not. It this doesn't go here either. Yeah. Fuck. Alright. I wish I could have one more party member. I understand why I can't. I know that Final Fantasy IV spoiled me by giving me five, but... It also did not spoil me because it constantly stole those characters and killed them. I'm still fucking salty about that. I am gonna follow my heart. As much as I love our new friend, Eddie. He's not my favorite Scarecrow boy. Wait, no, I have to do... Oh, wait, can I change anywhere? Mojo. Hmm. Yeah. You can have a six party... You can have a six-member party in the Suikoden series. So, oops. Suikoden is on the list for our next poll game. Which was just shared by Emperor Frog. Thank you. Oh. Foul is fair, GC. Thank you for following. Thank, thank you. Speaking of the poll. Oh my god. Oh, so we get in winning. Though that's not what we're playing next. After this, we're playing Donkey Kong Country. And then we're playing a game from that poll. Alright, kiddo. You're gonna get a bunch of cool shit. Wait. Do I have extras? Oh, right, I bought extras. I can give these to this kid. Alright, get ready to have some black stuff. Oh, there's a fill all blanks thing. That's interesting. Gravity blow. If you leave my party, you're gonna steal all my stuff, sir. Probably. I can throw some extra. Let me find you're my healer now. Congratulations. Oh, you love this game? Ah, that's exciting. So many people, so many people are like, oh my gosh, this game is so good. It's exciting. Very, very exciting. Eh? 108 stars? We're trying to grab a copy of Suikoden 2. It's just very rare and very expensive. But we're working on it. There's five Suikoden games? Why are there so many? But I'm also excited for Donkey Kong Country. I played it with my dad as a kid and I never got to beat it myself, so I really hope I can do it. I remember being really hard. Wow, it's Korcha. I'm delighted to meet you. Oh, uh, Mr. Korcha, can you tell me how you built your boat? How, huh? There's not much to explain since boats are more commonly used than shoes for moving around gold of. I get it. That's why Korcha's always barefoot. That's not exactly why. Eh? That's it? Aww, thought that would be something cool. You think five is a lot? You see how many Final Fantasy games there are? Touche. You got me. Donkey Kong Country does cool things with a sound chip. 
The music in that game is so good. Master Go is an unfortunate man. In his youth, the master was a promising artist, but since her ladyship had a frail constitution, she fell ill after the birth of the young master. Back then, the master was very poor without money to buy medicine. He could only watch her ladyship pass away. He changed that day. He started working constantly without a moment's rest. My master's devotion to collecting all those works of art must be due to the dreams he couldn't fulfill when he was young. Oh, don't let this get out. I could be scolded if he caught me saying anything like this. What the heck? There's seven? A tactics game? And a DS one? Mm. I want the son that's here. He seems neat. Ugh, door. Hey, kid. Oh, bother. It appears that the festival may be canceled, too. I believe I may end up watching everything from this balcony like I did last year. <sighs> hmm? Is that all you have to say? Damn it. I need to remember that I have key items that I can, like, throw at people. Oh, <gasps> we were supposed to put that bone in the ocean. Shit. Japan-only Suiko Gaiden games and the PSP Abomination? Eh? Oh, he's here. I thought he was leaving. The Radical Dreamers have raided Lord Viper's Manor. Damn bandits, it's just as I thought. That means it is only a matter of time before they come to steal my treasure. Your treasure? Don't you fake all your paintings? I have to sneeze. Got it. Ow, my body. So we could on the DS's knee. It was called Tearcris. Is Chrono Cross a sequel or a prequel? It's kind of neither, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Please, no one answer. I don't want to be spoiled for it. It's got a lot of weird references so far, but uh, it, it's we're like in 10 hours in and it's still not clear. Who can say? Oh, hey Arjun. Do I have a fucking map of this area? It doesn't look like it. Select? Oh, select changes my party. No. Probably both. Hmm. Me? No, I'm not waiting for anyone. I'm just too cool to hang out with anyone else. Alright, let's see what this guy has to say, because this is a statue. Oh, Master Viper, I have been polishing this statue and waiting for your arrival, but your visit to Termina has been delayed. Was there not enough effort in the polish that these old bones finished? Alrighty then, this calls for another round of waxing. Aw, oh, bud. Definitely has the word chrono in the title. We need to somehow teleport back to our own time. Um, uh, hyper. Ooh. Hyper Super Guy, if you would like to discuss spoilers, you're welcome to join the Discord, and we have a new channel called Spoil City where everyone is discussing shit that I don't know about. <laughs> Mama, she's asleep. Mama's busy working all by herself day after day. No wonder she's so tired. I'm not supposed to know this, but Papa is not really coming back. Mama said he's gone on a long trip on his ship, but if I weren't so sick, I would have gone out to search for him. Korcha, will you go out with your beautiful boat and search for my father someday? Uh, uh sure. It's a promise. What is it? Huh? What? I kind of want to give them the bone. Hmm, the next story is... This lady is so fucking mean. Someone always brings stray corn grass and leaves it here for us. 
If you drink soup made, fr made from it, it will stop any bad cough almost instantly. I'm glad to have it, but who could be leaving it for us? I thought Korcha was leaving it for me. No, it's not me. Who could it be then? Is this your daddy's bone? It did nothing. Hey, is this your husband's bone? Take this. Nothing. Hmm. Papa Ship Mary. Man. That's so fucking sad. Did you hear that infamous band of thieves, radical dreamers, raided the Lord Viper's manor? It's become so vicious around here. If only we had peace. I couldn't wish for anything more. What? Your town is so peaceful. Have you ever played a fucking Final Fantasy? Oh, right. This is the old lady. I'm trying to find um, her grandchild, Shelly. Yes, who might you be? Grandma, there are travelers passing through. My, my, so sorry. My eyes have become really weak in my old age. And I thought that my grandson had come back. Oh, grandson? My grandson was such a cute boy. He was really plump and cheerful. I'd love to make people laugh. That's why the boy joined the circus to become a clown. Oh, I thought it was a... For the first few years, he wrote letters to me almost daily. He always said how gratifying the work was, although it was very challenging. One day, his letters suddenly stopped coming. I haven't heard from him since. I hope he wasn't in an accident or something. I just pray that I might see his cheerful face once more before the heavens come claim my soul. Yeah, the last Final Fantasy had me killing, like, everybody. If we have a clown and a scarecrow, I have to throw the game away. Grandma keeps waiting for her grandson to come back. Isn't that your brother? Or, well, I guess it could be a, a different... It could be, like, a cousin. She always tells me stories about him, but we don't know where he is. If you ever meet him on your travels, please tell him Grandma's waiting for him. I believe his name was... Oh, Skelly! Not Shelly. Ha 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 ha. That'd be the best party ever. All right, let's do a last peek. Wait, is this the little store? Yeah, there's something in here. You know where he is? Good for you. I really wanna know if something happens if I go up here. Cause like, why does it let me go up here? Who knows? Ugh. All right, town. I'm gonna destroy you and solve all your problems. Why is my nose so itchy? Already went this way. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to go back to the manor and see what's up. I have some different people now. Maybe they won't recognize that it's me. We already tried to go up there. Yeah. Now, can I put this in the water? No, face the water, kid. Why is it so hard for you to face forward? No? Mm. How am I liking it so far? I'm liking it a lot. I really, really am enjoying the strange combat and interesting magic. Um, again, I think it's very D&D-like, um, which I really enjoy. And the characters are great and we mostly play retro games here, right? And I think having a game that's translated or, or localized so well is a rarity. And I'm really enjoying it. I'm worried that it's going to destroy my heart and make me cry, but you know, when was there a game I didn't cry in? Ha 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 ha. There never has been one. Now, can I put you? I can access this here. I can't put it down. I've got to be in the ocean. Okay. What game was there where you didn't cry? I don't know. Not a real story unless it destroys your heart. I even cried during Luigi's Mansion because we hit our sub goal and you guys were 
donating a bunch of stuff made me cry. Super Mario RPG. Mmm, maybe. I might have cried out of frustration. <laughs> oh, from trying to jump on vines. Animal Crossing. That's right, I didn't cry in that. Gobby, can I help you? I don't want to bust it up. Motherfucker. We should try to go through that back doorway that we heard about. Because I found where it leads out. It's like a sewer system. The Chrono Cross theme in this overworld song and many other places. Oh, it's your island song in Animal Crossing. Oh, that's so cute. Mine is um the Final Fantasy X. Uh, some Final Fantasy X music. I named my town Moonflow. Fossil Valley. Let's see. Marshes. I'm tempted to check out the marshes again. So let's do that. Game reminds me of what I wanted 10 to be like. Eh, really? Your town in Animal Crossing is Frog. First name is E. Froggy? E from Frog? Huh? You say they're searching for a Hydra? Didn't you know they died out years ago? You won't find any of them here in El Nido now. If you're wondering what happened, just look about you. The ecosystem that kept the water clean has been destroyed. Now the water is just pools of acid. What once was a beautiful living woodland has now become a dead forest. When you read someone visiting from it says airport, it says e-frog. <laughs> Yeah, the music in here is nice. But it also feels like I'm gonna die. Ow, 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 ow. What are you doing here? What are you guys walking around those marshes in le such light clothing? <sighs> Damn amateurs. Don't expect me to save you when you die of poisoning. What? If I fight things though, I'll be able to heal at the end. And then I'll live! Haha! -ha. Ew! This place is gross. Potpourri! Cute. I bet it doesn't like meteorites. So you're a vampire then? Hey! Eh? Can I just say I've never seen anyone use Mojo this much? Gotta respect your dedication. I love Mojo. He's the best member of my party. You just poisoned me? A dog. Is that a death attack? Hmm. Hmm. I'm poisoned. It didn't heal me! Shoot. Is it because I had a status that it didn't heal me? That's not very nice. Oh, that little tune right there reminds me of um the Swamp Temple. In Majora's Mask. I have antidotes. Better than Speedo Butt? Speedo Butt? <gasps> Does Gorcha wearing a Speedo? Ow, ow, ow. Well, this is my only. Jeez. Oh, Caliber! Thank you for the host! Welcome. 
My only lead is this place, so I feel like we should go with it. Hey, movie night was great. We watched, well, the first night we watched Kiki's Delivery Service. That was awesome. And the second we watched, for some reason, Space Jam. That movie's not very good. <laughs> I'd never seen it before. It's, um, it was something. Tuned in to see five minutes. It's a lot. Oh. Does this heal me? No, of course it doesn't. I feel like I should, oops, save though. It was perfection of something. It was a mess. I'm sure it was great for kids at the time. The music was good, except for the fact that it kept playing I Believe I Can Fly, which is upsetting. <laughs> I'll have I'll have more serious selections on this uh, this Friday. Am I more serious? I'm probably just gonna choose a bunch of Ghibli movies. Cause I'm in the mood to watch Ghibli stuff still. Treasure? Electro Jolt. All right, let's keep giving shit to our kid. Take this. Looney Tunes felt a lot cooler in the 90s. It's, yeah. Yeah, you're right. This place is spooky. A little different watching it older <laughs> and theoretically wiser. I was a pretty dumb kid, so. Hello? Hey, 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 you gotta be crazy to walk around in this forest without protective gear. I have an extra set with me. <gasps> Take them. This way you'll be able to walk through the marsh without getting hurt. Yay! Thank you, sir very kind of you. Oh, and watch out for the monsters lurking deep within the forest. We haven't actually explored those parts yet. We don't know how to get there. Beep bop boop bop bop. Equip. Me. I'm confused. Oh, it's just like a... Oh, we don't have to equip stuff. That's really nice. The best thing about Space Jam is that the movie's website from the 90s is still online. Oh, I wonder... That's the same as like the Amanda Please website from the Amanda Show. Is... It used to still be online. I don't know if it still is, but it was very late. If you want to go deeper into the forest, you need the proper equipment and the means to control those strange plants. The means to control those strange plants. I'm gonna do it. Just watch me, old guy. Hmm? This strange plant? Well, whatever. We can explore now. Yay! Theoretically wiser sounds like a good name for a show. Hmm. Looney Tunes back then would never pass for today. Do you think people would drop anvils in each other? Where would they get an anvil? Is my question. Zombo? I don't know what Zombo is. What the hell is Zombo? Eh? Have I missed out on something important? Welcome to ZomboCon? What? Why does everyone know what this is? Hmm. All right, 
Okay, so this doesn't hurt now? Sweet. Well, I accidentally went the right way first, then. I don't like the looks of that guy. I should probably fight him, though. Hey. Touch. Zombo reaction on stream. Uh, Rebel359, thank you for following. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna die in here. Haha, -ha, you missed my perfect grassy boy. Wraith? Seatsy fly. That is much bigger than it should be. I'm gonna kill it. Uh oh. What do you do? 15? That's not so bad. It's a meteorite out of the sky. I don't want it in my game. Hundred and thirty three. Incredible. And it doesn't look hurt. The fuck? Are you. Is that a fishing pole? Hmm. Okay. I should have attacked the fly. It's probably harder to hit. Mojo finally has a level 4 spell. I'm so excited. What are you? All foes? Hell yeah! Rain just gestured very excitedly at me. Apparently he just won an auction on us. We could in two. Disc. Complete in box? Complete in box. Zero counts. Thank you for following. Thank you, thank you. Oh, hey Josh. Welcome. Heck yeah. So if Suikoden in one does win, I can at least play the sequel as well, no? Hey, hey, I'm doing well. This game is very weird. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> it's good, though. I should be nice and say that it's good. Ooh, leather. I need that. Stocked it for days. This is great. We'll finally have two. We've had one forever. Oh, you played this before, Chrono Trigger? Hmm. Kind of made me not want to play Chrono Trigger. Eh? <laughs> Oh, okay, Jen, thank you for being here. I hope you have a nice rest of your day. Love this stream, was surprised. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> well, thank you for following. Thank you for remembering to follow, I appreciate it. Well, I can get this now, because I'm not, I don't have weakness to poison. It's just a tablet. <laughs> I am so excited for your Undertale stream this Wednesday. I've been thinking about it for a whole week. I'm gonna touch this bug spot now. Didn't get very far, but I'm excited to see you check it out. Oh, good. Today's Wednesday? No, it's not. <gasps> Today is Wednesday, hooray! <laughs> I know what day it is. It's because I take Tuesdays off. Hey, everybody, when I'm done streaming, go watch Wolf. Well, it'll be on the Intelligame channel. Ring, can you link that channel or um or Josh, either one. So that people know. Josh is going to be playing or is playing um Undertale completely blind. And it's a fucking joy. <laughs> I know I try really hard not to like do like advertising of other people's stuff, but I just have to. You are yellow. Let's try headbutt. Yeah, everyone go f go follow Intelligene. Three! Oh no, he's terrible! Maybe I shouldn't be using Korcha. Alright, bomb is good though, I think. 
totally fell in love with Undertale last week. <laughs> it's impossible not to fall in love with Undertale. I say knowing some people who did, <laughs> but still. I still have... I still have a white on the field. Let's try this. Not advertising someone else, it's synergizing? Sure. I mean, I auto-host it anyway, but I know a lot of people don't necessarily um, check out auto-hosted stuff. Kick. Giddy, bro? Leave Mojo alone. Alright, that wasn't that bad. My perfect boy. Um. Ooh, you have meteorite. <laughs> eh, I'm used to that disintegrating everything. I'm a little concerned about these guys now. <sighs> okay, they're doing real damage. I don't like it. Bushwhacker might be good against- I'm still not sure how these stupid combos work. I think green should be good against yellow. Seemed okay. You jerk. Get poked in the eyes. Let's try arrow saucer. Mojo is so thematically similar to a One Piece character, I can't get over it. Is voodoo dolls like a thing or trope in anime culture? I don't know. But maybe, maybe it, maybe it is. I suppose it's possible. I mean, if, we, if you're seeing multiple of them, then yes, right? I've never thought about it, though. It took all that to kill one of them. I'm in trouble. Man, I I gave up on One Piece. I really should not have. Um, we used Bushwhacker. Just Icelands. Man, my green field. What a water no me. Oh my god, don't play an ad. Arr, why did I click on that? Of all people to click on it, I shouldn't have. I'm doing things. <laughs> Slice. But yeah, I think green seems to do well. We have a blue, so let's use a blue. He has a big nail in everything? Maybe voodoo dolls are a thing. What's interesting too is that um, this character, Mojo, looked at a scarecrow specifically and was like, oh, I thought this was someone, but it's not. Oh, I do have another three. But there are also scarecrows in a lot of games. Like Link, um, Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time have those scarecrows. Hmm. And they dance. I wonder if they're related. I'm unfamiliar with Scarecrow and Voodoo Doll Boar. Alright, it's time to dance. Wee! Fuck you, bug. This bug shouldn't be this hard. photon ray because white is always good it seems like just like how black is always good we don't want to do lightning do photon ray I just really he really is wearing like underpants that I then have to look at. I'm not a fan. Four. 
40 then 32? Excuse me. Can I heal please? Why was that so much? Who wears shorts? Of course you wear short shorts. And I hate them. Though, to be fair, if you're brave enough to wear short shorts in public, you deserve to wear them. I'd be too afraid. Looks like a speedo. Oh my, it really does from that camera angle. That move looked really cool and then it only did 17 damage. Okay. Whatever you say, game. Please, bug. Die for me. Jeez, am I not strong enough to be in here? I feel like the other enemies were totally fine, though. Ugh, okay. Yeah, it's a speedo bottom, isn't it? Hmm. Well, at least he's a kid. I think that sounded the way I wanted it to. Carapace? Ooh. We definitely need that. The surface of the slope is too slippery to climb. Maybe Korcha thought it'd make him go faster? Hmm, that's something. All right, let's fight this and get this. But we haven't gone. Oh, I see, I see. Never mind. I thought it was saying that about the waterfall I was trying to stick my face into. What is that? Oh, another bushwhacker. Okay. It seems like... We have revive on him. I don't have enough green on you, but... Yeah, I don't need two heals here. Let's switch this out. This music is a little bit stressful. What is that thing? It's like a gross kangaroo. A little weird plant. Hey! It slapped my head! Are you alright, um sorjum? The toxin levels seem higher than at the entrance. The plants must have mutated all. Oh. Thank you, Mojo. Oh! Are you gonna hit me too? Hmm, maybe I should kill this. I have to click on them to fight them, though. I don't just run into them, which concerns me a little bit. Do you hear those, like, osprey screeches? It starts double green and yellow. So then... Wait, what color are you? I can't see it. It's green. Okay. So we'll do yellow. I'm getting a hang of the system. It's weird, but it's fun. And as long as I can eventually figure out, we'll be fine. So this is its death rattle? You're just gonna poison me, right? Oh, it's a damage too. Hmm. Bee -bee -bee. Yes, stats. So if I do use consumables in stock too, will it heal the poison? 
Did it heal the poison? I don't think it did. Are you poisoned? God damn it. We have two of these, dude. You're supposed to be immune. So I can't go up that way. We'll go around. Hmm? Oh. It sucks me up onto here. I want to go up here. Look at this amulet. Okay, that did nothing. I need that to go down there. It just smacks me. Alright, we need to go the other way. <sighs> but I can't go the other way. Well, maybe this guy will tell me something. God damn it. Up, up, up. With that safety gear on the toxic marsh waters will be no problem, but remember, there are a lot of monsters here, so don't do anything stupid now. Why did this one work? Place looks and smells like a dream. A poopy dream. Huh? You're searching for Hydra? Didn't you they died years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're wondering what happened, just look about you. Well, why can I boop you down? Why does this one like it? Maybe it has to do with the angle you come from. But if it's the angle you come from, then I can't do it in the other place. Hmm? God, this music is good. Okay, we're making progress. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I um, I started playing... Hmm, I don't think I actually know what it's called. It's not Ghosts and Goblins, is it? Ghosts and Ghouls? Ghouls and Goblins? That really hard NES game last night with Rain. We're playing it on our own time. <laughs> taking turns. Dying. And it's ghouls and ghosts? I think so. The guy with the armor and he shoots lances. <laughs> it's really fun and really hard. We almost got to stage two or something? NES. It's like a dream come true being able to work this closely with the wonders of the world. By the way, have you heard of the remote island called Gaia's Naval? No, I have not. Gaia's Naval. This is a new location. Got to stage two, but can't get past the middle. I know, we were so close too. The Sega Master System version, that is much easier. Um, we're playing the free version that's available with the Switch uh, retro console stuff. Um, I just noticed we were playing Ice Climbers and got frustrated. It's a remote island completely enclosed by bluffs located to the south of the El Nido Archipelago. Legend has it there's a primeval forest still unexplored to this day. Makes me tingle with excitement. Primeval forest. That sounds promising. Hell yeah, Lucky Diesel in the house. Hey, YT guy. There's a cool ROM hack for super ghouls and ghosts. For NES that removes all the lag. Boo. Yeah, there's a little bit of input lag. I kind of like it though. Reminds me of uh, how games felt when I was a kid. Oh, oh, this doesn't lead anywhere. If you want to go deeper in the forest, you need the proper equipment and the means to control the plants. I have to figure out how to control the plants. Maybe I should go talk to the plant lady in town. Maybe now that I've been here, she'll talk to me. Corta did end up joining us. 
Though I'm not sure how I feel about him yet. to control the plants. Maybe if I sing to them. Oh, wait, can I go up that way? No, we tried that. If I'm really nice to the plants, they should do what I want. Yeah, there's no way to get under there. I don't feel as bad about being stuck in here as I think. So if I touch you from this side, do you whap me? No. I don't feel too bad about being stuck in here because the music's so fun and satisfying. All right, I have one more thing I want to try and then we're going to peace out of here and try something else. That's nothing. And I definitely can't go up this. Too slippery. All right, yeah. We, we need some kind of solution to the plants. Wonder if Monolith Soft worked on this game? Placement looks straight out of Xenoblade. I think we just talked to, uh, somebody was talking about that. I think, I think they did, right? Or maybe it was just the, um, composer that we were discussing. There's some type of overlap with them. Some of the same team. We could go back to Arnie Village. My town that doesn't remember me. Well now, you're in Arnie. What brings you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, you know what I want to try? There's that weird pink cat thing. Maybe we can get it to join us. Gamer sense is on point. Eh, it's not here. This is my house. Okay. Beware of mad hecarins. Oh my gosh, shush. I know it's your house, leave me alone. What if I go back to where... I mean, it happened with her. I need to go back to my time. Okay, so maybe we go to the grave again. Yeah, let's go to the grave again. They specifically said like, there were hydras in that place before. There are not now. Here we go. Let's go see our dead body. What if you dug up the grave and touched the body and immediately dissolved into atoms? Honestly, that would that would feel about right. That's probably the correct the correct thing for the universe. Oh, something's happening. There's some writing on the tombstone. Let's see. Rest in peace, our beloved Surge. Died age seven. Nobody can take anything away from you, nor can anyone give anything to him. What came from the sea has returned to the sea. Eh? No, I don't think his body's actually there. I, he drowned. So I, I'm assuming um, maybe they couldn't get his whole body back. Mojo knows how to lighten the mood. Mojo is great. I don't want to fight you, little friend. Okay, we could also try going to the fossil place. Is 
south. I want to go north. Oh, there's that big bird that I fought that the thing spawned. The uh, yucky door. Tombstone, I represent something somber. Mojo, look, I can balance on one foot. I don't ever want Mojo to leave my party. <laughs> I'm gonna lose this game because I don't want Mojo to leave. He's too precious to me now. It did not let me do this before. Whoa. Whoa! Oh, hello. Can I have this? Egg? Big egg. Ah! Climb! Is that in here? I have a big egg now. Hooray! I stole it. It's one of those nasty tongue rocks. So this was where that thing was summoning things from. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Bellflower! Ah! I need to bring this to the lady in town, um, who needs flowers. Alright, don't touch that. Big egg. Are you going to trounce it because you won't- won't have Mojo leave? Maybe. Maybe I'll just be super strong because Mojo's the secret to the game. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Looks like I'm causing quite a stir. I've been waiting for someone like you. Yeah, I know. You and I are both dead, eh? Oh, I want this man to join immediately. We do have a lead on a clown. What if this is, uh, Skelly? Oh, Skelly! Yeah, I know. I don't know how I ended up like this. I don't have a body. I don't remember a thing. You understand what I'm going through, don't ya? But I have a feeling everything will come back to me once I find my body parts. So how about it? Will you help me find my body? Yes? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm heavier than I look, but I, don't, but I hope you don't mind. And don't swig me around too much. I start feeling nauseous. I have a skull now. Wait a second. Is the pelvic phone his? No. Burst out of his rotting skin like a chest burster. Heavy skull. <laughs> eh? A human skull painted with clown's makeup. It says it's searching for its body and lost memories. This has to go with this. Kind of cute. It is kind of cute. We all have skulls. You just carry one in a bag. <laughs> Build your own party member kit. Yeah, I like this. All right, that's much less... Cr I thought he was going to fight me. It was going to be scary. I'm in a dragon's head smile. Clown that should be terrifying but isn't. Hmm. Sounds like another game I know. Okay, coming here was definitely um, a good thing to do. I hope I can build him into a party member. That'd be really cool. Build your own friend. God, could I use that in real life? <laughs> Love the idea of just carrying a jolly skeleton around. It's good, isn't it? No, don't attack me! Thank you. I am a friend. Like Harry Wizardman, not Potter. Forgot his name. Eh? Okay, well that wasn't a solution, but it was cool. Oops. Oh my god. There's a little bit of lag. In the menus. But not anywhere else. It's a little weird. Just kind of assuming he's a party member. Every weirdo, yeah, every weirdo wants to join, which is fantastic. All right, what else can we find? Ooh, we can go over here. 
Wait, okay, this is the forest that I think. Shadow forest, okay. Wait, no, I wanna go back to town and um, deliver that flower. And then we'll go into the spooky forest, which I think has a way that leads into the Viper Manor. So that'll that'll be two things at once. Legs to the, oh. Damn you, PS3. But also, yay, PS3 for making it watchable. A thief snuck into Viper Manor. Hey, I have a flower for you. Um, take this. Ah, oh, it's a bellflower, isn't it? It's a pretty flower, but it has a slightly lonesome feel. Dario loved this flower. He kept his own sadness and sufferings to himself, so I kind of understand why he liked that flower. Huh? That's not it. Maybe I should bring it to Dario's grave. That feels like the right thing to do. Harry Dresden and his com skull computer friend? know each spot of this game but I'm enjoying oh thank you I'm trying my best <laughs> it's a book series yeah. Jason has a skull that a skull that's possessed with a ghost that's basically encyclopedia oh it's like a pokedex maybe I can put this here no? It looks like it goes here. Oops, not the skull, not the skull. You stupid. There, I touched it. Damn it. Mm, maybe I'll... Maybe the next time I see, um... Riddle, I'll try to give it to her. Or Glenn, because Glenn was connected to Dario too. <sighs> if a Pokedex would sass the sass the ever living crap out of you, sure. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the Pokedex is sassing Ash by now. He hasn't improved at all. That's not true. Actually, he has improved in the recent seasons. I think I just haven't watched them. Let's go into the spooky forest. I mean, shadow forest. Planetscape torment? What is that? If I remember correctly, the, the Pokedex did sass Ash for trying to catch a trainer's Pokemon. Oh, it did sass him quite a bit in the beginning, that's true. And so did Pikachu. Um, what the fuck are you? Huh? <laughs> A CRPG, one of the best ones ever. <laughs> really? Isometric one out of the Planescape campaign session setting. Mm -hmm. I don't like these things. Not what you guys are talking about. I don't like these little onions. Ow. Because they yell weed and hurt me. The bulb childs are gross. I do I do not like them. Childs? Children. To know if I would dig isometric adventure game? Never interacted with them? Hmm. Hmm. Honestly don't know. I'd have to see what it looks like, I guess. Wait, are you green or yellow? Green, good. Petition for and Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. Rain just played Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. Oh, wait, did you... F I don't know if he finished 2. No, he hasn't finished 2. He said it was like D&D. &D. Yay! Oh my gosh. Real stats. Seeds. Every song in this game is a bop. It's true! Eh, this one gets tiring. Oh, the, the battle music. It's a Baldur Gate style RPG. Literally a D&D &D game in official D&D &D setting. <gasps> that sounds great. 
They are d and I love d and Though it's not my favorite setting. I prefer space. What? Oh. Ever had to use T H A C O? Is there a real voice in this? sure if should educate or protect eh? hey it's another one a little wiggler hold on I feel like I should <laughs> all right that onion needs to stay away from me what's this I feel like I should pay attention to these little things and what colors they are let me just double check what the one out there was there's a lot of bulbs in here too so this is, we're in the shadow forest. Arcanum earlier. Oh yeah, someone did, I think Arcanum is on our list. No, we don't have this. So we're in the shadow forest. There's supposed to be a mushroom in here as well. So pink. I just want to keep track of these little blobs. You never know when you'll need them. Uh, the game I'm currently playing is a PS1 game, yes. I am using a PS3 to play it though, um, because there are resolution issues if you try to um, stream it. Um, and the PS3 uh, takes care of those resolution issues, which is very nice. Ow, my face. Weeds. Meteorite. I love this skill. I think those games are in some ways pretty similar to old school RPGs, so I think it would be a fit. Uh, I've really never played old computer games. It's just such like an intimidating subsection that I am. Um, I've always been too afraid to do it. There, that's a killer. Similar character progression, gaining characters, storyline, etc. They were the predecessors for the likes of Mass Effect and Dragon Age. Those are some good games to have it helped to inspire. I don't know, I'm very into that. More seeds. You can say the E-word. <laughs> Emulation is totally fine. But yeah, what's what's currently happening is emulation. We, we had to do a bunch of research into it. All right, the next room, that one looks yellow. But I am using an original disc, so that counts for something. Uplift, we don't need that skill. Speaking of CDs, what the hell is the new Monster Rancher gonna do? <sighs> They're making a new Monster Rancher? We got a hint about this big tree. I can't tell if this is the big tree though. Old PC games can be thorny for sure, but you're comparing them to like, legs of deep R JRPGs, which <sighs> that's true. I do think some JRPGs are extremely intimidating like this one, <laughs> but hey, look, we're getting through it and it's really fun and pretty and deep but yeah you're right you're right jrpgs are intimidating for some reason to me pc old pc games are scarier i'm not sure why i feel that way though i think it's because it's a it's something i've never delved into before crpgs are more intimidating you can actually lose them for not eh? oh that's true i really don't like games where how did you miss? You're using a fishing pole on a plant. I don't like games that... If you don't like pick up a specific thing at the beginning of the game, you can never win. You know what I mean? 
Which I guess is how that old Lord of the Rings game we tried to play was, but... No stats. Seed. Yeah, I guess they're intimidated in a different way. That's a good way to think about it. Is this back at the beginning? Yes. Fuck. Monster Hunter Amiibo? Oh! Here we go. Get out of the way. I need this treasure. Monster Rancher. I was gonna say... I was thinking like, yeah... I think they mean Monster Hunter, but Monster- or Monster Rancher, but Monster Hunter Amiibo would also be cool. I really gotta get back in there and fight that new big thing. Ow. My scarecrow face. How can you miss? <laughs> it does make sense. It's a plant. It's hardly moving. Fishing poles are big and... Never mind, the more I think about what I said, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Shh. I wouldn't go older than a certain point, but a, at a certain point, they were definitely kind of trash on the design slash fairness side. So I want to fight Alatrion. Yeah, I don't want to fight Alatrion either. I haven't played since they um, added the scary monkey man. Once we run out of console classes that I've missed, we might dip into PC. We'll see. We have a very long list, which is fantastic. Ooh, Arrow Saucer. I don't like... I know the Rajang isn't that bad, but the Rajang was what made me stop playing the last Monster Hunter game I was playing. I'm a hammer. Do you know how hard it is to fight that guy? It's terrible. No hole, huh? Mentioned space games. I have not played the original Star Ocean. I was um, I was talking more on the lines of like um, tabletop pen and paper stuff. Hammer is easy against Rajang. Really? It just scares the bejesus out of me. I don't like. I, I'm kind of. I have a little low key fear of monkeys, so I think that's part of my problem. Red berries growing. Huh? Think of him as less fighting a monkey and more fighting a super saiyan. It works out better. Yeah, I, I'm a little afraid of it. Blueberries. That means the one from the beginning, no, because it was pink yellow. So now there's red berries and blueberries? Fear of monkeys, it sounds like a problem. Ugh, thank you Austin for the 32 no pun bits. Finally caught a gold crown auger fly today. Oh, I love the catching of things in the new one. Oh. Oh no. Huh? There's an old notebook. Read it. In order to wake up the monster blocking the path, use an aroma pouch and check all the plant life. Some of the plants will be attracted to the aroma. There are monsters in the forest that eat the pollen given off by these plants. Use the pollen to lure these monsters to the monster blocking the path. Once you wake it up, all you have to do is defeat it. But in my case, it defeated me. I leave this helpful note for anyone who wishes to get through. Mixed among the pile of bones is one bone different from the rest. I found an angry scapula. <gasps> That's right. I was always pissed off about something. It is Skelly. 
I have to bring this to the grandma. I think I was angry at myself for having no talent. Everyone would just laugh at me or mock me. I hated myself. I'm sure you ain't interested. Let's just get going. Which means the pelvic bone might not be theirs. Man, that's fucked up. <laughs> hey, Fumbler. Thank you. Oh, hey, Golden Duke. The straw thing is um, a cursed voodoo doll who is my best friend. His name is Mojo, and I love him. His Japanese name is Lucky Dan. Well, that was a cool mistake. Hmm. Oh, pollen, eh? So we're being followed by some pollen. So should I grab some from all of them? Or is that a berry? It looks kind of like a berry. Oh yes, this mystery pelvic bone I'm just carrying around me casually wonder who it belongs to. Well, I don't know if it belongs to them. Someone told me to put it in the ocean. Blue. Ah, this might go to the little wooblers. All right, there was a blue one down there. Let's take this blueberry to it. The background art is quite gorgeous, isn't it? Feel robbed that we get a serious name and Japan got a mascot name. Hey, do you want this? Take this. Oh! Where are, you, where are you going, little goobler? Where'd he go? Did I do it wrong? Eh, is he still in there? Should I have waited? <laughs> he looks like a goobler, doesn't he? Feels like the right name. You little fucking. Fine, I'll get another blueberry. Should I touch this? Hello? No, this is the giant thing I'm supposed to be. Okay. You know what? Let's um get the one from the start first so we can figure out how to do this. Can I get more than one of one type? No, okay. Part goobler, part jerk. <laughs> You're not wrong. This game is kind of stressful. Even though we're in like the most relaxing music -y area. Ah! Eat this. Good. What? If I lose that, I'm gonna be so mad at this little stupid onion. Because this thing respawned. I definitely killed it before. I hope I'm doing the right stuff. I'm worried that Kid is gonna die. Because they said I have two days, but maybe if I never sleep. The two days won't happen, and she'll be fine. It'll be like how I used to play Oblivion. If you don't level up, scarier things don't happen. So you never sleep. Good strat, small me. It wasn't a good strat. Alright, please still be there, weird thing. No spoils. I really like the dumb cursive. Where is it? Is it still here? No, it left. <gasps> there you are. What are you doing? Stop it. Are you following me? What? Are, 
Are you gonna come with me? What's going on, bud? I gave you a berry. Okay. Well, I gave it a berry. So, gonna go get a yellow one for this guy. Wait a second. See you. No, yeah, I did. It said I needed to lure them to this thing, and then I have to fight the monster. What was the verdict on Luigi's mansion? Oh, it was lovely. I loved it. It was hilarious and cute and dumb and hard at the end, but I really, really liked it. And my final point total was like 69 million, 69 hundred thousand. It was so good. Oh. What? Are you coming? What happened? What's in this corner? Which platform do you play Monster Hunter on? Uh, PS4. I haven't played in quite a while though. I was playing it every night for at like the end of last year. So close. Maybe I'm not supposed to let them eat it right away. Maybe I have to get them to follow me. If they eat it, they just run around really happy. Let's test it with the blue one because it's actually the blue one's up there. Let's test it with the blue one because the blue one's the easiest. Oh, it's not up there. <laughs> Ace Attorney Confetti. Alright, blue. Let's see. I didn't think that it would work cross screen. So I have to, like, get him to start coming? Come here. No! Alright, did that work? I don't think he ate it. Yes, it's still with me. No, I'm stuck! Did he eat it? <gasps> what are you doing? Sit over here. Are you going home? Don't you dare. I'm gonna get you another blueberry. Stay there. Oh shit. He went to where the blueberries are. Yeah, look at this delicious bush. Come on. No, don't eat it. Hmm. Look over here. Mmm. <gasps> oh! You killed it. You fucking monster. We have to defeat this thing to get through. Oh shit! No, I wanted to do all of them! Am I gonna die? Well, okay. Hmm. We only did one of them. Takes a lot of damage though. I think because I was supposed to do this earlier. Oh, you're on PS4 as well? Oh, I bought you're on PC. I did not want to wait for it to come out on PC. I had to play it when it came out. Devour? 
Is that gonna just instantly kill me? Because you're not full of yucky things? No, that's not so bad. Are you green? Yes. Quadvid? Hmm. Oh, like Triffid, but... Mm. Oh, this thing is a big baby. This is fine. I don't have to get the other little boogers killed. Good. Take that! You got killed by my... Scarecrow. Really? No level up stuff? Just a seed? Is the is this an auto kill mean gonna be use yeah, it probably will continue to be useful. God, I love that. I'm so happy you made that. Somebody's poisoned. I only have one ant Oh, I'm so glad it didn't let me waste that. That means there might be more of them though. Just played Monster Hunter World on PC. Ah! Oh, needed to wait for the PC version for ergonomic reasons. It's a very, very good game. It is- oh, 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 oh. No! It is absolutely the best Monster Hunter to start with if you have not played it yet. And it does so many quality of life changes. And while it did buff Hammer too much, I can't complain. Because Hammer is great. Though, Sword and Shield is not as fun for me in this version. But that's okay. Dual Blades looks fun though. I should go- my very first weapon was Dual Blades. And then I went to Hammer, and then I went to Sword and Shield, and then I went back to Hammer. <laughs> so, hell yeah, spin to win with the Hammer. I think you mean slide down hills and spin like that. It's the greatest. The best feeling. Been really into hunting horn. Got a dude. Oh, impressive. The least chosen one. I have so many gold hunting horns from the first uh, Kushal or er, Kolve Toroth um, <laughs> events. I don't know why I kept getting long swords and hunting horns. I don't have the heart to get rid of them. Ooh, bush basher. Is it better than bushwhacker? Hmm. Really enjoy charge blade. Huh? <laughs> it's not that complicated. Oh, rain plays a uh, great sword. Gunlands. You guys play hard stuff. I just strap the head of a monster on the end of a, a stick and hit him with it. <laughs> That's my playstyle. Great sword and hammer most. Hell yeah. Big kid weapons. I approve. It's meteorite this one. The other one's been pretty beaten up. Started with gunlands. One that I really want to learn is um Insect Leaf. I almost called it Bug Blade. Wouldn't that be cool? Dead. This kid has too many muscles. His abs are way too ripped. It's very uncomfortable for me to look at. I don't enjoy it. Bug stick is fun too. I've seen um, some crazy videos of people using it, so I really want to try it out. <laughs> I was trying not to fight you, little friend. I'm gonna kill you and your onion friends. So this is the tree we need to go into, but I'm pretty sure um, we can find a blue mushroom around here somewhere. Oh, actually maybe not, because they said it only happens on a certain day or night or something. But it's probably still worth looking around. Charge Blade gave me both a shield to learn with and the satisfaction of landing absurd hits. At least I can make a salad now. True. Oh, speaking of. Oh, crud! It's already... It's already been four and I need to go on my lunch break. I don't want to do it in here though. I'll get killed or punished for sitting around. 
Someone killed Alatria and just bonking him with the kinsect. See, that stuff is so cool. Heal. God, I could listen to this song forever. I also love that there are no random encounters in that ga this game. I know the Chrono Trigger didn't have, didn't technically have random encounters either. I mean, it didn't, but. Hey, huh? this is a whole new area. <sighs> All right. I have to eat something really quick. Ugh, I don't want to stop. So you guys get to listen to this really pretty song while I run and get something to eat and take a quick, quick break. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys for being here. I really do appreciate it. If you are new, please drop a follow. Don't forget you can join our Discord. Um, it does not matter if you are a sub or not. Um, hit exclamation point Discord and you may join. Um, also, don't forget to vote in our poll. The next game we're playing is Donkey Kong Country, but after that, um, we're doing a poll to see what wins. I believe Suikoden is in the lead, but I'm not going to look at it. I'll look at it at the end of stream. All right, I'll be right back. I got to eat something.
Hello. I'm back and I have a surprise. Eh? Look what just came in the mail. Da -da. Donuts for everyone? I wish. So this isn't something that I I purchased. Um, but apparently this is a game Rain has been trying to get his hands on for a long time and it's in like perfect condition. It's beautiful. Both discs we just checked. I like immaculate. Yeah, apparently it is quite rare and um, we, we keep track of the prices of all games. <laughs> And um, in the last couple months, retro games have been like shooting up in price, like an exponential increase. Um, and so we've been trying to make sure we grab things before it gets too bad. Um, I think more people are home. And so more people are like, all right, like I have time to do things with stuff in my house, like buy and sell old games. So Never seen a copy. That certainly is a game. Apparently Rain wants it and he wanted it in an auction, so it's very exciting. Haven't played it, but I saw bits of it when a friend played through it. Oh, well, it's here now. Which is fun. Oh, right. That thing's about to attack me, isn't it? No? Where are you going, little friend? Also, you guys are so sweet. I was reading what you guys were saying while well, I was eating my banana. Which is, yes, what I ate for lunch today. Making sure Rain's putting things in the right place because I'm crazy about where things go. Garidea? Garidea? Mojo, the best character of the balance is on one foot. Exactly, yes, correct. Anyway, you guys are real nice. All of you are really nice and cool and... I don't know. That's it. I feel so weird today. I had to, um... And nerds. I, I was just trying to uh, coax Octavia out from... Under the bed where she's very grumpy. Um, so now I'm a little sad, but... She apparently has to get like three or more teeth removed. She's so young, but she has a um What's so missing? She has a genetic um tooth disorder thing. So next week she will be getting some toothies removed and she's under the bed very, very mad at me right now. Even though I didn't even bring her in, I just helped sneak her into her crate, so. Poor baby. It's in her jeans. She's got, like, abnormally terrible teeth. I feel so bad, but we checked and... I've been doing everything I can, so at least, at the very least, um, removing those back teeth are gonna help her feel better just hate that she's in pain. You're a magma bomb. Had a kitty with that? She'll feel much better. Yeah, they're gonna dope her up real good and they take very good care of her there. Um, one of our friends uh, is, is the anesthesiologist there and I, I trust her to take good, good care of our baby kitty. <sighs> anyway. I feel a little weird because I, I, I want to pet my cat, but she's hiding under the bed very mad at me. So. Anyway, video game cats instead, maybe. These aren't cats. These are nest little bugs. Oh, water strider. Ew. It's like the word Gerardia. Hmm. I've never had an animal need to get their teeth taken out before, so I feel really guilty about this, but I know it's like a genetic thing and I couldn't control it. And we feed her all the right food and we spoil the crap out of her and I brush her dumb teeth. <laughs> I just need to relax about it. I 
I'd say I'm pretty dedicated considering I brush my own cat's stupid teeth. It's not fun. <laughs> Smack. Smack. Smack again. I don't understand why he fights with a fishing pole. Look at my sweet dancing boy. I'm gonna have to get some art of this guy. I don't know if Mojo's popular, but they're quickly becoming my favorite character in this game. Oh. I got stuck. We've been brushing our kitty's teeth too. It's just something you gotta do once they get a right beach. Octavia's only four. <laughs> But yeah, I've been brushing her teeth since we got her. Um, but our vet gave us this new stuff that she hates. It's like this weird gel. So I think I need to go back to doing, once her teeth are out and they're not in pain, I'm gonna go back to doing normal toothbrushing with a little toothbrush. Cause I think the gel she hates. Oh, yours is five. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better then. Thank you for sharing <laughs> your cat's dental history with me. I went to Catholic school when I was a kid, so my my instinct for a lot of things is to feel guilt. <laughs> mm. What? You're not dead. How do you like getting kicked by a straw man? pop in to say hi before I run away from spoilers. Oh, hello. It's lovely to see you. Or virtually see you. <laughs> What's your deal? Hello. Oh, it's a monster! Yeah, as far as I can tell, Ledipus, this game, this entirety of this game is spoiler central. <laughs> at scale. Imagine if someone named at scale was in here. And I was just getting a bunch of them for my inventory. I am still enjoying it a lot. I absolutely, well, I don't know if it's worth the hype yet, but I, I totally think it's worth a play. I say on day two. <laughs> Water starters are actually fierce predators in real life. Smack. You've been killed by a fishing pole. I hope you feel bad. Oh, it's hot. Ooh, leather. I do need leather for crafting. What is this? Oh, because it's four. I was like, why does it seem different? I wonder if there actually was a different animation for those. If something smaller than them hits the surface of the water, they're all over it. That's creepy. Water things are gross. I told you guys what one of my biggest fears is. And it's leeches. I hate them. I hate them and I can't look at them or think about them. Is it that your chakors won't have donuts? If I could give you guys donuts, I would. I really would. There's some good donuts in Portland, too. Oh, <gasps> you hate them, too, Jimmy? They are so creepy and gross. And I've literally, until I became an adult, always lived in areas where they were everywhere. Water striders locate prey from the water ripples? Sub for donuts alone. Ugh. I know where the good places are now, because we've tried like all the donut places in Portland. And I'll tell you a secret. It's not voodoo. They make really cool, pretty creations. 
Look at that little bo- I heard Octavia Mew. Brains on it. Hope she's okay. My poor baby! And Blue Star is okay, but they have like two really good donuts and then everything else is like... Why did I come up here? Best donut place in Portland's across the river in Vancouver! Eh? Hey. That might be true. I don't think I've had donuts from Vancouver. Octavia, do you want to come say hi to mommy? She's doing something. My boo boo kitty! Leeches and quicksand. The two things our childhood media made us most afraid of. That's true! Think of her BC, you mean? Hold on. No? Is she grumpy? Okay. I was gonna let you guys see her without having to spend points, but apparently she's extra grumpy. Ow. Why is that man in his pants? Um, because he's a, a, a boat boy. No, I'm gonna get- I've gotta get off this cliff. This cliff is a trap. I have a Vancouver friend who's super snobby about donuts and always talks about how their donuts are better. Yeah, I agree. I th it, it's a speedo of sorts. We hope. Keep forgetting the various definitions of pants. Ooh, almost didn't catch that sneeze. Probably because the Mima was out of her room. Underwear? Ah, oh, it's okay, okay. In Japan, it's the same. So, I kind of assume usually. <laughs> but he is. He's in his underpants. I mean, no, he's not. He's in a Speedo. He's a child. I'm watching Rain take a boo boo band aid off of our baby kitty. All right, get me out of here. Oh, what? Oh, I could have moved this. Stay in there, you jerks. Mowgli's underpants from the Jungle Book. Oh, you're right. It even makes you walk slow here. How mean. Whoa. Wow, it was like pushing me back. Uh... I don't need to fight any more crickets. I think I'm good. Wait. Did a blob just fall on me? Is this Dark Souls for real? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> okay. Gloop! That's good. I do so much damage now. Oh my god. Ah, it became a little spike ball. I like this thing. I wish I could have one of these in my party. Me, you're right. Surprise. No curry for this run? Um. They might just not be here today. I'm not sure, Lidipus. They might have said something and I... I might not have noticed. But yeah, I'm not sure. Mm. I know it is weird without them. They've become such a staple of our community. Hey, little bug. Can I have that treasure, please? Hmm. Trying to click. They said they didn't want. Ah! I see, I see. I got blobbed. Spoiler senses aren't tingling. <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah, I couldn't remember. But I'm glad you remembered. <laughs> That's totally legit though. I can... It's part of why I'm kind of happy that I do variety streams is because we get a cool rotation of faces, but I certainly wouldn't want to spoil the game for anyone. Especially not the way I play it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, humors. We do need those. Except right now what I need are Hydra humors. Oh. Huh? Hmm. So this should lead up to... Perfect. <laughs> Super thorough. Oh, thank you. Yes, we have to do everything that we know to do. Exactly, Lidipus. If the pun tax wasn't so high, you could have dad humors. Mm. How could you do this to me? Mm. I remember there being a safe here before, maybe, but also maybe not. All right, so this is where the dragging feeding was. <laughs> I hate that you guys reward each other. You're like, let's compliment each other on our poopy puns. Yes, yes. It's like all of you sitting on the couch behind me patting yourselves on the back. <laughs> That's how it feels. <laughs> oh, the game tells us to climb the mountain, then I'll do everything but climb the mountain. Exactly. That's how I felt when I watched uh, you play the beginning of Final Fantasy VII. I, I, not reloaded, whatever, reloaded. And you're just like, hmm, go that way, eh? You mean go look for materia? That was very satisfying. How far did you win the dragon minigame? So, not all the way. I did, um, I got to 30, I believe. But I want to try for more. That's why I'm here. I think. <laughs> Damn it, Bren. When you put it that way, it sounds awesome. Mm. It's not supposed to sound awesome. Oops. Well, I'm already failing. Oh my god. That one's screwed. Oh, I got to it. These things look so much like Gungans. It's driving me nuts. Shit. I did the wrong order. Puns sound awesome? Lawyer, I said that it sounds awesome that you guys are all hanging out on the couch behind me. Alright, what do you give me? But I see that you've already received a gift for this a number of number of times. What? I did not. Oops. Oh. It's fine. This one's easy. Now that I know how to play this game. And by game, I mean chores. Is it the great Mighty Pooh and Conquer yesterday and my stream was shitty pun central? Ah, I'm so mad that I missed it. I had some dumb shit I had to take care of yesterday. I'm gonna... You keep your VODs, right? I have to watch that. Here we go. Let's be careful about how we click. A hundred times. 
thought you bought the special blue controller. I know it's because I have to use a PS3. I have to use a PS3 to play this because there are um, resolution issues that only the PS3 can solve. I know it's so lame. All right, let's do this. We're going to reach 100 without suffering a heart attack. Be so freaking precise with this. It's ridiculous. No. Oh. Uh oh. <gasps> ah! Nah. Ah! Dude, are you kidding me? Fucking seriously. What? That is so hard. I'll come back some other time, old man. I hate you. Uh, Bots are there. Oh, good. Don't worry about the whole stream, though. It took me a long time to get my head around the jump physics. It is painful, but I am going to enjoy watching you do that. <laughs> Boo. It's needing to use the PS3. I know. But hey, at least we can stream it at all. I was very concerned that we wouldn't be able to. This controller feels fine. I prefer the PS3 controller to the PS4. The PS4 has really, um, what's the word for it? Like, uh, squishy. These ones, they're too squishy. They get triggered by anything. I'm not a fan. The triggers? The, is, is this a shoulder and this is a trigger? Shoulder, trigger? Yeah, then the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> They're too squishy. I can't go through. PS1 to PS3 controller adapter, like $10. Eh? Hmm. Are the resolution issues specific to Chrono Cross? Um, it's a specific subsection of PS1 games um, that have uh, 240 um, in some screens and then 480i in other screens. So every single time you open the menu, it's a different resolution. Every time a cutscene gets triggered. And if you're using a new TV or a capture card, um, because uh, it needs to sense what it's doing and recalibrate itself, it disconnects and then reconnects. Luckily, because the PS3 takes the disc and technically emulates it, it is keeping it all at one resolution for me. Um, but apparently Silent Hill does this. And there's like a handful of other PS1 games as well. It's a very strange problem. Ooh, that's mine now. He's not here to stop me, so I stole his gauntlet. Both the shoulder and triggers on the PS controllers in general have always bothered me and hurt your hands. Hmm. It's not better. Hmm. Oh, I didn't equip you. Oopsie. Here, you can have this. Have some crap.
The really expensive PCIe capture cards with DVI out can handle the resolution swapping pretty well. Uh. But then I'd have to like replace my capture card every time. I also have um, the type of capture card that's plugged directly into my stuff. Like it's not a USB because I, I really hate the little bit of like half a second to a second lag. <coughs> Meow. Gimme. It won't open. There must be a way. How about with this? No. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. There must be a way. That shoddy, kudos for you knowing what you're talking about. Uh, it took me like a good couple of hours on Sunday to figure it out. And I was complaining in the Discord about it as I was doing it. And Curry popped in was like, I warned you. And I was like, I forgot. <laughs> Yeah, I still have the shark tooth. GameCube controller worked out strangely well. Who? PS1, DS, and DS2 controllers. Your platonic ideal for a controller. Mm -hmm. GameCube controller was the best. Really? I actually really... I don't know. I feel weird about the, the GameCube controller. I think it's because I didn't have a GameCube, though. That's weird. Can we do this again? I want to see that scientist lady. That's why I'm back here. Ugh. Please. Herk. Deebity doop bop boop. Oh! Oh, that's right! I don't know how to deal with this. Amulet. Safety gear. Ugh. Ow. Big egg. Ow, ow. Won't move. It's secured. Well, I just ruined my health. Someday I'm gonna figure out how to get this treasure. PS2 slash PS3 is the best for you. Hmm. You need to bring the general here to get it. So I need the general to join my party, right? I'm sure General Viper will join my party after I kidnapped who I assume is his daughter. Ha 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 ha. Oh, who are you? The chef's in here. Dishwasher. Lucia isn't here. She might be on the roof terrace. More importantly, could you let me out of here? <laughs> uh, maybe. What's this? The last time I let something out, I shouldn't have. Why can't I click on this shiny thing? PS controller is your fave, but I remember seeing GameCube controller for the first time. Be like, oh my, this is snug. In your mitts. Oh, <gasps> it's gone. Look, there was a thing in this cage before. It was like Pip or Pip Pip. Pippy. Oops. No, you're probably evil. Ha 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 ha. I'm still new around here, so I get lost and end up here by mistake. Don't worry, I wasn't snooping around. No, you're clearly the spy. Come back. I did not want to let that guy out. I was just clicking on everything. Fuck. That guy's definitely evil. He was suspicious earlier when we were in the chef place uh, as well. They'll wash dishes evilly. No, they're a spy for the bad guy. Like PlayStation controllers, but their D-pad design always bugged me. Hard to hit. Hmm. So I took this, but I didn't want to. I took a shield because I thought I needed it. Oh, crapola. Sure, it's fine. It's That's definitely going to be a boss later or something. Or I'm going to get punished. Mm. Crap. Oh, someone's still here. I'll wait till hell freezes over. Eh, you still didn't get your food? It's been like a day. Hello? Talk to me. Now where did that slacker go? Can't let him out of my sight. He's fucking evil. 
And he was in a cage and I let him out because I'm dumb. <sighs> Damn it. Locked. Chopping veg with flair. Very true. If I could chop vegetables like that. Oh my god. Think of the things I could do. I don't know what those things would be, but just think. I actually really like prepping food. Is he here? He's not here! Glenn! Our orders were to stand guard, but Glenn went off on his own. <gasps> Where are you, Glenn? This guy's still asleep, huh? Where is everybody? Ah, oh, forget it. I can't do sleepy noises. Was that what a sleep sounds like? Where did you go, Glenjamin? You know the veg flower sculptures that come mostly with Thai food? I could do that. That would be cool. I wish doing that didn't make them taste worse. Hmm, I want some Thai food. I don't trust this sexy painting. That just seems to be undiscernible bodies. <laughs> They're definitely naked, though. It's inappropriate. This is a chill. Actually, this probably isn't a children's game. Oh, I can't get out this way. Hmm. We could also check the basement. Oh, this is where I was thinking of checking. No, this is where I was thinking of checking. Basement, right. It's because it lifted me up. Okay. Hello? Any prisoners? Locked from the inside. I wonder if I could have gone another way to get in here. I don't think we went down there when we were first in here. That's probably not a good thing. I wonder if they're gonna arrest me. I'm coming back to the scene of the crime. Last time I was here, you were in the same place with a French guy in the fancy hat. I don't think trading him for Speedo Boy was a fair trade. I need Speedo Boy right now. Get, get, got, pee pee. For reasons. Actually, I don't know why. Maybe we should have brought Eddie, our new luchador healer. Hey, I'm back. Can I have that cute girl with me now? General Viper has headed for Fort Dragonia to the southeast. What? They told me it was to the east before. Southeast. The four devas and most of the dragoons have accompanied him. It will be quite difficult facing the poor military here. Where is the place you are? I am in Viper Manor, which is like right to the north of the town that we've been hanging out in. The two towns, I should say. It's to the north of both of them. Who translated this? I don't actually know. But it's extremely good. Like too good. Who translated this? so fucking hot. Come on. Press the lever. I know there's a lever. Press it. Eh? Can I go back up here? There we go. No AC. We can't have AC right now. Unfortunately. You hydrate without us selling. I know. That's how you know it's hot. We went directly in there last time. There was a save here. Um, at the moment, our apartment does not allow window units. 
and there's no like built-in AC. Um, so we have a standing unit, but the standing unit has an um, like an intake valve thing, which means it would be sucking air from outside into here. And if it did that, it'd be kind of dangerous because people constantly hang out out there and smoke and cough. And I don't think blowing sick air into my bedroom is the best idea right now. So it's like, what does that say? 83 degrees in my house. <laughs> and I'm under a light. Live in Florida, so it's literally illegal to not allow window units if you don't have central air. Ugh, what I wouldn't do for central air. Get a wet bandana and put it on. It's okay. We have a ceiling fan. At least the air is moving. Oh my goodness, that night. You're the ones who... Kid risked her life to shield me. My father and his men have left for Fort Dragonia. I do not know exactly where he is, though. There is not a single thing I can do, except pray for their safety. It looks like she has a tiny snake on her head. Yeah, the AC is pretty rough. Do it the UK way and get a standing fan. I would, but it'd be loud for the stream. All the fans I've ever had are too loud. Richard Honeywood, he did the localization for Xeno Gears and the Nino Cooney games. <gasps> the Nino Cooney games have such good localization. All right, Richard Honeywood, you kick ass wherever you are. Not in my stream, I'm sure. Portland weather has changed a lot over the past 30 years. Yes. Most. When I first moved here, people were like, oh, it never gets hot. And then the first summer I was here, it was like a whole month of being in the hundreds and it was miserable. So most houses and most apartments here do not offer air conditioning because they didn't think they needed to. So now we're all dying. Get one of those fancy bladeless fans. This costs like $500. <laughs> Ugh. She has one of these little goobers caged. General Viper tried desperately to persuade his daughter to leave, but she refused vehemently. There are too many memories for her in this manner. Fond memories of Dario. <sighs> Tower tape fans are pretty quiet. Huh? This, I didn't click that. I like this girl, even though she looks like she has a snake on her head. In case it might help with cooling while staying quiet, found a small fan and set it to low. Just moves air. We have a ceiling one going, though, so it's not that bad. It's just days like today where it's like 90 outside. Actually, it's probably like 80. Usually it's the same temperature outside as inside, unfortunately. Oh, shoot. All right. It seems like we need to head toward Fort Dragonia. Oh. Use a tower fan. Don't think it's picked up on stream, but your mic's... Yeah, my mic picks up a lot of stuff. Cold bucket of water. Put your feet in it? Hmm. I could do that. Octavia really likes ice cubes, so with my luck, she'd, like, end up... They took that rock! I swear to God, that's the frozen flame. She'd probably come lick it. It'd be gross. Outside in the park, out in the shade. The shade is cooking you. Is it like 80 something? Turn your mic gate and just yell. That's my problem is that my voice is pretty quiet. So I have to have the gain up quite high. <laughs> when I used to um, have my old mic, which was the kind that just actually is this kind. People used to complain all the time that I was too quiet when I was playing games with, with them. You can yell at rain to bring you fresh ice. Who is... Oh, it's this lady. This homo sap flower is called Neophio. As it matures, it will behave just like a human. However, this Neophio is like none other. It is powerful type with the el ability to use elements. Naturally, it was I who improved it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. One is able to train it if it blossoms, but a life sparkle is necessary for that. I have pinpointed the whereabouts of the life sparkle to a marsh east of Arnie. 
We were just in there. God damn it. It's got to be the Hydra... Hydra marshes. So I sent some of our dragoons to retrieve it. However, none have returned. It is a shame, but I cannot allow any more loss of life. I suggest you stay away from that marsh if you wish to live. I can... I'm immune to poison, though, ma'am. Also, I let free that guy that you didn't want to be let free. <laughs> Thank you, Ludipus. Mm. But yeah, you you guys can always um can always tell if it's hot because I'm drinking more. Solid advice. That's true. People are dying there, so. Okay. Have a nice rest of your day, Ludipus. Thank you for being here. Sight scope. Huh? Hmm? Is it equipable? Yes. Improves hit percent. Ooh, it improves it by a lot. Hmm. I like your magic defenses, though. I don't need you to have this. Take that. This game has some really gorgeous sets. Do you want a bellflower? Oh wait! I wanted to give the bellflower to that girl. A uh, little, uh, little? Riddle. <laughs> My brain is bad. Your boyfriend likes this, right? Or your dad or whoever? No? Amulet. No, damn. All right, let's run back town. We'll check on the scientist one more time. I really want her to join my party or explain to her that I'm like immune and that I should be able to go. Oh my God. Some of these hidden triggers are really hidden. Ah, Mojo, your sweet silly T-pose. Now, where was she? Nope. Boyfriend, dad, whatever. I think they were engaged. Maybe. I don't quite remember. There are a lot of people in this game, okay? It's hard to keep them tra keep track of them. Um, it's one of the sections with three. Here? At least there's no monsters in here anymore. Kitchen. Which means the dishwasher did run away. That's not good. Hey. What is it you want? Would you- Oh! Would you like to join us? <sighs> Without Pip, I really do not have any research here. I guess the time is right. <gasps> I am sure I can find some interesting research material if I tag along with you. I will join you. Oh! <laughs> Yay! Lu Lucia assimilated into your party. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Well, monster would let a dishwasher loose upon the world. All right, kid. No! She has black magic! Everybody I like has black magic. Yay, ethnically, ethic, ethically questionable scientist is here. Mojo! I 
All right, if that's the case. Eh, why not both? I can't have two black magic users, can I? Then I'm white, black, black. In a game where there are six elements? That's pretty bad. Yeah, Eddie and Lucia. That's what I'm thinking too. Then it's white, red, black. The science of wrestling. Oh, my sweet voodoo doll boy. I love how he talks. What kind of mess of a party is this? Can I have this sparkly thing now, please? Silver earring. Oh, well, I already have one of those. All right, let's check out her stuff. She's so cool. And she has a... I can do her accent real bad. He deserves a break. <sighs> Alright, let's give you some crap. Hell soul should be level two. Pin up girl? What does that do? Practice the pinning of a specimen on your foe? Okay. Oops, this must be level three. Hmm. Eh? Why is that so poopy? Where should you go? Eh, do I really want two of those? I don't think so. Hmm. Plus one. Plus one. We can throw another feel here for now. No, I should make that tablets. I think that's okay. Not what I was expecting, but it sounds good. Hmm. <laughs> Definitely sounds better than what it sounded like. Oh, crud. He doesn't have anything, huh? What if I... Auto allocate. Oh, <gasps> did I just choose the whole party? No, this is all correct. Yeah, okay. Who? What did it give you? Cures, heals, ointments, useless thing. Clothesline, charge with outstretched arm to knock fo flying. Okay. Fuck it. You have useless things. I'm sorry, sir. I'll go buy you some stuff. We can go back to town and buy a bunch of things. <laughs> I don't even know how to begin to read that. Fermi pasta. Ooh, ooh. I give up. All right, going back here was a thousand percent worth it because we got a new friend. New friend, and she's really cool, and she's got a neat accent, and I like her. Wrestling priest is able to dry your clothes. Hello, I come from behind you. Gabibi? Let me out. Hey, let me out. <gasps> You're not going to make me go back through, are you? Hold on. S switch. No, switch. Switch. Hello, I work here. Let me out. Oh my god. I suppose I deserve this. I could have just punched that thing to get in, but I wanted to do this cool area. I never did figure out how to get this chest. What attacked me? Oh, right. Bloobs. What do you think of this catastrophic band <laughs> hmm. 
All right, so that means we need to go out of this. That leads us into the forest. The forest is pretty small though. His accuracy sucks. I did not equip them with gear. Do you have white hair? What's the deal with the characters? Ending sentences with specific sounds like om? Senior so you know, across the few anime is it like an accent? Oh, um. I don't know how to explain it. So there's a way of speaking, or there's a style of speaking that you'll see in a lot of Japanese things that's like um, having enders at the end of sentences. So in Japanese, you can add what are called particles to the ends of what you say, certain phrases, um, which will make you sound a certain way. It's like an affectation. Um, a lot of the time you'll see with cat characters having nya at the end. Mm, but it is kind of a thing. You see it in anime a lot. But that is what's going on with um, our scarecrow -y friend. I'm not sure if it has a, a name, but I'm sure it's something. Shifts attribute of element attacks received to weapon. Uh -huh. Particles? Particles are something we have in Japanese, um, like um, wa and no. Um, for example, there are specific ones that um, just make you sound a certain way. Do they have meaning or just like moods? It's like um, personality. A lot of the time it defines a certain personality when you see it in like a game or a show. So... Hmm. No! Onion, leave me alone! Hmm, I'm trying to come up with a good example. There's a character in a show that I used to like. What is this? Who had it? it it's more like if someone had a certain phrase that they kind of stick to in English, like think of like Canadian A or something how they just add it at the end and it it informs what type of care like where they're from is it consistent across media or arbitrary it's arbitrary generally there are actual particle ending things that are legitimate like um, there's a certain way of talking I think it's it's coded as masculine um, but I've heard women use it a lot where you add saw at the end. So like, on a saw, kino wa saw. And they're adding that in there. Uh, Ed Star Light 2513, thank you for following. Thank you, thank you. So normally that saw wouldn't be there. And it doesn't hold any specific meaning, but it has a certain feel to it. Um, I, I forget what those are called in English. We don't have any cool abilities. Let's try clothesline. Rev that shit up! Ooh! Kill that little monkey. Amazing. Does it carry through in the general populace or like kids will copy one from games on TV? The kind that... The kind that you see in things like this, like... The ohm thing or like... The nya, like the cat-like stuff, that's- nobody says that in real life. But there are things like the saw thing, or wa, like women will add wa at the end of stuff. At least it's- it's oftentimes considered like a femme-coded thing. What do you mean, nya? Um, so I think- I think what it comes from is a real thing, but like when you see like something nya, or like Blah blah Goro, you know, like like the 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 Gorons in um, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask do it. I'm so sleepy, Goro. You know, that's that type of thing. So while it's coming from something that's real, 
where you have a certain way of speaking and you that way of speaking is adding something at the end of a phrase they make that more cartoonish and they make um it, it kind of gives the character more personality or it assigns them to some type of race or group or age and that's what's happening in most uh media portrayals of it that's um that's my very vague generalized uh explanation anyway <laughs> no wonder if pokemon saying their own name is related mm, i don't know i I want to say no, but I, I actually don't know where the Pokemon saying their own name thing originated from. So, I don't know. No, let me do my- there we go. Maybe you're right. <laughs> FYI, Prinny's in disguise do a thing with suit. That gets localized as the same dude a lot. I wonder, I think there's a thing with, um... Well, I don't know if this is different. In Earthbound, the Mr. Saturn say Boing and Zoom and stuff. Which makes me think that in the original, that's what that was as well. Oh, come on! Scoot. Mr. Saturn goes Boing for you. Hmm. Let me leave. No! Eh. Eh. I don't remember the exit. This way? Oh, thank God. Mm. I wish you just live on this overworld. We don't get to hmm? get to hear it enough. Yeah, freedom from the cave. Okay, let's go to town and buy a bunch of stuff. That is not town, that's the manor. We need to equip our wrestling dude, who is red, I believe, right? Yes. Bar, Lisa's. Are we able to buy things here? Girl's house. Shit. Or did I have to do it on that other island that we definitely can't come back to? Oh, hey! Look at this skull. What is this creepy thing? <gasps> oh my god! She doesn't recognize her own grandson because he's a skeleton that's just ahead. Well, that's dark. Don't worry, Mr. Skelly, I will fix you. Fortunes. Do you sell anything? I should just jump into the river and. Oh, uh, don't get me wrong. The weather is just so hot. Don't jump in there. Was thinking of Pokemon because it feels like it fulfills a similar linguistic purpose. Identity through speech pattern. Like, it was an ending, but with no sentence before it, because they don't speak. Hmm. That makes a lot of sense and is a very interesting connection. Oh shit. I wanted to get my, um... Fortunes read for these two new people. Where's the patella? Hello. Ugh. It's in your knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Eddie. When your long journey reaches its end, the heavy burden that rests upon your shoulders will be lifted at last. That's nice. All right, Lucia. You shall always be under the watchful eye of your former master. What? That doesn't help me.
Fuck, I'm going to the other town to buy. Knights who say me? <clears throat> that is ominous. Both of these are ominous. Alright, let's grab some magic for our friend. We mostly want red, but we should get a good mix. Hello. Yes. Give me your elements. Show me your elements. It's so hot. I can see my face shining. Oh. Fine. It's not very good, but whatever. It's better than nothing. Allocate for you. Remove. Yes. Oops. I'm gonna go back over to that menu. Eh. Fireball. Aqua beam. Oops. No. Aqua beam. Fireball. Stronger fireball. Cure is fine. Oh, we'll do a cure plus one then. Sun's ice. Yeah, you can see, like, I'm kind of sweaty. Super cute. <laughs> hmm? I guess I can give you more heals. Yeah, sorry, Jen. I said sweaty. I know, I'm doing a human thing by being sweaty. Let's just give him a really strong fireball. He can have an empty slot on the energy for that. All right. Is there anyone we should check in with here? Do we have anything new to show people? this amulet. Who are you? Oh, the sack girl. Uh, hey, newbie. You found my sister yet? You all right? You look like you've seen a ghost. I am a ghost. Dumb. Three hundred and ten Kelvin is how much Fahrenheit? I can't even do Celsius, my friend. So I don't know. All right, to the marshes. We're actually, wait. We could go to the marshes. They said that they specifically sent some dragoons there, but I think we already met them. The other place we can try to go is Fort Dragonia, which is to the southeast. Is it that? I think it's that. Mount. I was spamming X. Years ago, these falls were considered a holy place by the worshippers of the divine dragon faith. Then hordes of humans began to migrate to these islands and we were pushed into the outlying regions. In the cultural takeover that ensued, the spiritual significance of places such as this was soon forgotten. Oh god. In the old days, many of my friends and fellow believers would come here to worship. It was quite lively, particularly during the festival seasons. How I miss those days. <sighs> Is this the story of America? Ninety-eight point thirty-three degrees Fahrenheit. That's so high. Finders keepers, we were here first. Eh? We can't let you in until our expedition is complete. Hey, Captain, found anything yet? Let me in. Hold on. What if I show you this angry scapula? They don't care. Uh, how about this big egg? Sh shark tooth? Listen, America, not everything's about you. 
I don't know, that felt pretty accurate to me. It is a negative thing too. <laughs> Temperatures measured in shade air mass. What? Alright, let's see really quick if we can go up to that spooky mountain. I guess I should be spamming A to find secrets though. Oh, there's like a hole. Or not A, X. All right. Let's do it. Hello, menu? Oh, when I'm on one of those, I can't save. Hmm. Oh God, I have this weird party. Oops, I don't have a thing. I still feel like I should be making multiple saves, but we don't have room. Welcome to a lovely world map with many pretty places you can't actually go. I'm sure I can go there eventually, just not yet. Searching for a Hydra. We already talked to you about this. Pools of acid, blah blah, dead forest. I'm immune. A scary thing. <sighs> so these must be the dragoons. With that safety gear on the toxic marshes water. Remember there are a lot of monsters. Don't do anything stupid. You're stupid. Tell me where to go. I'll go where I want. A protagonist, a mad scientist, and a wrestler priest walk into a bar. Walk onto a bar. Ranch. A bar ranch. This part of the map looks like tempera? Ugh. If your tempera was like <laughs> yucky and like poisony flesh. This is the guy who gave me the armor. It's like a dream come true. By the way, have you heard of the Aro- I have heard of it. I heard about guys and evil from you. Legend has it there's an unexplored primeval forest. Tempera with spikes pointing out. Fried in other poison. Poison, fried, poison. If you want to go deeper to the forest, you need the proper equipment and the means to control those strange plants. One of these has to be right. But all I did was like tickle one of the plants before and it worked. Maybe I need to touch it in the right spot and it won't bonk me on the head. Kick your arsenic so hard you'll kiss the moons. Wow. What a specific threat. Heard you like poison. I wish I liked poison right now. This kind of actually looks like maybe if you fried octopus arms you know but like cooked it really wrong so we can't go to the right and up because there's a little path so we have to do something here and this is my issue is this guy okay clearly we touched it once I can't believe that the scientist is in here with me. 
I feel like she would peace the fuck out and be like, no, I don't think so. So, I need you to be nice and dip down. Oh! Are you alright, Surge? The toxin levels seem higher here than at the entrance. The plants must have mutated. Plants must have mutated. Amulet. Angry scapula. Safety gear. Touch. Are you gonna hit me? You jerk. Straw man turned into a serious voice. Cause my straw man is gone. Aroma pouch? Egg? Shark tooth? Flower? Poison is stronger here. I'm definitely supposed to do something with this, but I'm starting to I'm starting to think that maybe we should try to go back to the boat. See if we can go anywhere, but I'm pretty sure the kid will only ferry us back and forth. Why do you only attack once? You get punched in the gut. Not cool. Come on, Eddie. Fire is good against, or red is good against green. It's fine. What is she attacking with? I just realized it's called a snob goblin instead of a hobgoblin. Oh, she chucks like syringes? That's awesome. I like that a lot. I didn't mute myself, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, let's do paint up, girl. Whoa! That's dark. ASMR shame, I'm sorry. Ugh, it also doesn't help that my chair makes a million creaks. Gonna be nice and come down for me, are you? All right, I don't think we can do this. We need to look for something else. And I definitely tried over here. Yeah, I can't climb up this. The surface of the slope is too slippery to climb, unless I can get up through here. But I believe we tried this when we fought the buggies last time. Yeah, there's no way up. All right. You've bested me for now, Swamp. Or Marsh, or whatever you are. I don't know what the difference between a marsh and a swamp is. So we need to learn a method to make the plants like us. What's down here? Opossa Beach? Oh shit! Maybe this is where we can get... Rewarped. Huh? Why did he shake his head? Fair angels lose their way. The place where the flow of time splits in two. 
What do we do now, amigo? Wait, was it here the whole time? <gasps> no? Eh? Eh? Why can I go into the ocean like this? Well, maybe I can get rid of the pelvic bone then. No? I'm in the sea! Mm. Yeah, there was unique dialogue, so it's gotta be something. Huh? Where am I? They walked onto the sea and were never heard from again. Marsh is wetland composed of... Oh no, that's too much information. Shark tooth. Egg. Nope, that's the bone. What do you have to say? No, he doesn't say anything. Well, there's something here. Oh! Marches have grass, swamps have trees. Aha! What is that? It is reacting to something. So this is the dimensional wormhole that connects the two worlds. What? May I use? Hello, wormhole. I didn't use an item for this. I just ran around spamming X on the beach. Maybe now I use the amulet? Oh! <gasps> hey! Oh my god, did I disintegrate my friends? <laughs> it felt like my body split into a very strange feeling. So now we're in that other world. I still can't believe it, though. Okay. So if we want to go between worlds, we go to the beach. We did it! I should say, I did it! <laughs> no, we did it. Okay, wait, then... What's up here, then? Is it my grave? No. <gasps> Hell yeah. Give me that double loot. What? Excuse me? Give me that bone. <laughs> Was gone for a bit, but now I can appreciate the character named Eddie. Yes, you can. What is the grave here, then? Serge and Lena forever. Eh? Wait. That better be a good thing. And not that they think I died and then she died. It better be that we're just super in love. Oh my god, I gotta go find my girlfriend. I don't know how much time has passed in the world while I've been doing weird parallel world things. Do you remember me? Huh? Eh? Oh, it's you, sir. Yay! Just don't be going near Hydra Marshes. Oh, no, I'm going there. 
Don't want to run into those evil dwarves at that Hydra now. Yes, I do. Hooray! Everything is fine in my universe. Hello. It's me. Do you remember? Serge, where have you been? You had me worried sick. You just suddenly disappeared from the beach. That was some magic trick. Don't even think about pulling that one again. Once is enough for me. Eh, that's it? Eh? Boo! That's not heartfelt enough. Where's my mommy? Mom, I hope you're alive in this universe still. <gasps> Cat. Mew. Mom. Eh? Then get your priorities straight and let her know how you feel. Understand? Tomorrow's a new day. Who knows what will happen? Mama. I want to pet the cat that's under her feet. But I can't. <sighs> I'm afraid to sleep. Because if I sleep... Time could go by in the real, the other dimension, and I don't want Kid to die. They said I had two days to save Kid. Do you have anything I want to show anybody here? I don't think so. All right, let's do it. So in our world, we've really only been to here and the beach. Is that town there? Eh, I can't go through Fossil Valley. Hmm. Let's check it out anyway. Oh, hey, Silent Knight. Chrono Trigger. Yes. The Pore Army is currently investigating the area. It's off limits to the general public. Ah, oh, that's right. Beat it, kid. There's nothing to see here. No, let me through. Deep beep bop boop. Now, oh, Divine Dragon Falls. Let's see what it's like now. It doesn't look like it has demi humans being sad about being destroyed. I can go in. Mm, that is a big spooky face in the rocks up there. I don't know if I want to be in here. That is multiple spooky faces. Touch it. I can't reach them. Happy rocks. Liars. Here's one. I can't I can't do anything. I'm furiously clicking. Well, fuck this cave. No thank you. Perfectly normal cave. Touch it with a non-demi-human hands. I'm sure that will go well. Okay, game. I guess I'm gonna go... Too scary Hydra Marsh. And I'm totally not gonna die. But I'm gonna say before I do it, cause if I don't, I will die. That's my new musical. I'll take $150 from each of you, thank you. <laughs> That's what Hamilton taught me. <laughs> that means nothing. Hello. Definitely not going to die song. Oh, the music's different in here now. Why, if it isn't Surge, didn't the village elders tell you not to come near here? Do you have some kind of business here? Hmm, I won't ask you what it is. I can tell by the look on your face that it's something important. What? $150 is a bargain for Hamilton. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's, that's fair. Here, go on through. I'm sure the three of you can handle yourselves. I'm not. 
Before you enter here, I'll give you a word of advice. The marshes like this are a maze full of poisonous monsters. What? I thought they weren't supposed to be poisonous yet. Touch. Ah, so you notice, that's a rare plant you'll only find growing in the Hydra Marshes. If you touch it and talk to it, it bends backwards for a little while to form a bridge. I think the dwarves may have planted those. See how they're strategically placed? I believe there's another way to bend them without actually having to touch them. I don't know the details though. I need this. The dwarves dwelling in this forest would probably know, but they hate humans so they wouldn't tell us. Okay. When we had money, I think we spent it. Oh, around that for per ticket. All right, one second. My nose is bothering me. so many bloody noses lately. It's not cool. I don't appreciate it. I feel like my brain is dying. Feather. I don't need feathers. I need leather and iron. Is it dry air? It might be. I'm not sure. I think I might have some type of sinus issue right now. Are you just as bad as before? Little... I didn't buy any antidotes. Shoot. I don't know if I can run away from fights either. I used to get them all the time. It's like every single morning I've been waking up with them. And I know it's not normal. I don't know what to do about it though. Slice. Get them during change of seasons, usually spring and fall. Yeah, but we're in like the middle of summer. <laughs> All right, so it's gonna poison someone. Damn it. I'd go get it checked out, but like, I can't right now because of the current state of things. So I just have to deal with it. Nothing. Ooh, I can give that to what's his face. Yay, Eddie. All right, Eddie Guerrero, take, oh, take this. Oh, someone is poisoned. <sighs> HP, sprains, burns, medicine, shit. Got them when I went to Washington recently from the dry air. What the fuck is that? Huh? Serge, what are you doing just standing there in a daze like that? We ha have not got time to spare. Let us keep moving. Okay. Oh, okay, Bren. Have a lovely night. I'm just gonna let her stay poisoned. Go away, buggity. Move. <sighs> what are these? Swarmp? <laughs> swarmp bug. I like it. It's a swarm in a swamp. Ow, leave her alone. She's already poisoned and dying. Oh, she's dying a lot more than I thought she was. Crud. I should fix that, huh? Do you even have heals? Actually, I should let her die and then revive her and then she won't be poisoned anymore. That's the plan. The swamp around here are terrible. Imagine if we called it swamp. Or swamp in real life. That'd be so funny. 
Gotta be careful in them, they're swarms. You're blue, so is fire actually effective against you? It's a good plan! Yeah, see? Now that I've let her die, I can res her. Which means she won't be poisoned. And I have no way to heal poison. Oh, shoot. I don't know if I can use that outside of battle. Hmm. Some people that live in swamps here do- Eh? In the south do pronounce it that way? Eh, that's cool. I like how that sounds. Swamp. That sounds fun. I like it. All right, can I revive? Uh-oh. Well, what if I... Eh, did I accidentally hit allocate? Oh my god. Oh, stop. Menu, please. Oh my god, I can't use it. Oh, I have to do it in battle. Okay. Confused with the humidity thing? Oh, She's already alive? What the fuck? She is already al Why is the game so nice? Hmm. Bone. It auto-revives after battle? The fuck? This game is so nice about so many things that it shouldn't be nice about. Which makes me scared. But thank you for that combo breaker. I definitely did not notice. Everybody down. Something big is heading our way. Huh? Chrono Trigger auto revives? Eh, does it? I don't think my... I don't remember that. What was that thing? I cannot believe this place. I can't either. But honestly, I wish you were a scarecrow, Eddie. Brace? Is the heel still- Hmm? Did you just see a strange looking creature up ahead? Hello- <laughs> Bubba Biba? This Biba, no place for humans, Biba. Go away, Biba, off. What? I don't want to fight you. No, you're cute. Mm. No, Biba. Okay. Just know that I don't want to hit you. Leave it to Biba. Biba, call friend. Don't do that. What? It's already here! <laughs> Saw two cute spiders say we're moving three bushes. What kind of spitters? My favorite ones for outside are the ones that are yellow with uh, black dots that live in gardens. Aw, oh, murder Biba. I don't want to fight it. It's leaving me no choice. Electric? Okay. I like spiders. I just don't like it when they're on me. Or in my shower. Jumping spider? Mm. Those are a little less fun as well. I just don't want a spider to- unless it's a tarantula, I don't want it to touch me. Biba call another friend? No! No, Biba! Where are there three now? Bad Biba. Don't miss.
I'm just gonna stop calling friends. They're like puppies. There we go. Alright, he's weak now. I wonder if the other ones are gonna call people. I really hope not. Twelve. Okay. Biba, call even more friends! Biba, no! I don't want your friends! Jumping spiders are weird the way they move faster than our eyes can track. Yeah! They're very creepy. But they're cute as long as, you know, they don't touch you. Ow. Don't root for Biba! Alright, this should kill Bebo, I think. But our- is it- Is it gonna call for more friends? Or are the other ones gonna call for more friends, I should say? Clothesline! Go! This move is pretty cool, I've gotta say. Fushu! 48, not bad. Okay, these ones don't seem to be calling for friends. They just hit me. It's an interesting, like, Yoshimitsu hit. 18. Alright, Lucia needs to be healed. Kind of. They get so many turns! Doesn't that remind you guys of Yoshimitsu? How he like goes up to someone, turns around and like stabs himself. I like that, it's cool. What's your element? Okay, this should be good. Day spider stock, night spiders kinda creepy. My parents have a lot of scary night spiders in their house. I hate them. They're huge and they go into your bed. Let's cure Lucia because I really want her to, um... How do I get to that direction? There we go. I really want her to get experience. Huge house spiders. I don't know what the spiders in my parents' house are, but I'm pretty sure they call them wolf spiders. They're huge and brown and terrifying. They have long legs. stamina. Good dodge. Mm. Alright, her stuff is mostly back. It only managed to call four friends, which I guess is fine. There's a gargantuan cellar spider in your garage. They look super creepy, but are basically harmless. See, it's fine if you know they're harmless. Please let me kill you. No. There we go. There we go. God, they're always out for my new people. I think I think green is good against yellow. I'm still not entirely sure, but we have two greens on the board, which means it'll be more powerful. Yeah, there we go. A hundred! That's so good! And then if I can get another green. Yeah, here we go. That'll give us three greens. Which will hopefully power them down. 31. Hmm. Could you leave Lucia alone, please? They just hate her so much. What did she do to you? We 
Let me try Hell Soul. Miss! <sighs> hey, Ada. What kind of game is this? Uh, a JRPG with weird everything. I'm not sure what I would classify this type of combat either. Turn-based... Metered... Help me out, guys. What the hell is this type of combat? What would it be called? It's so complicated. I don't... I don't know what to call it. <laughs> Ow. Turn-based? Action point-based system? Action point? You think? Action point B system. Six. Miss. AP base. Stamina is a type of action point system. Mm. Guess I didn't think about it that way, but that is true. How are you alive? Shit, I don't have any. Oh, finally, another one's dead. Eddie is kind of failing the team, but that's okay. We should be alright. Because we can take a while to kill this one now. I just have to use my stuff. Had to look it up a bit ago. Think it was abbreviated to APB. I was like, what the heck is that? That is a strange name. It's too close to um ATB, you know? Hey hey! Hmm. Oh, he has a little bit of stamina left. Oh my god, Eddie, please! I think I'm gonna use this to heal Lucia because I really don't want her to die. I need her to get experience from this fight. Ugh. Doing my best here. I'm sorry, actual Eddie. <laughs> this is what I get for naming it after someone. I mean, I didn't even after you. I named it after Eddie Guerrero, but still. That's what I get. Didn't I heal her? Why didn't she get anything? Heal yourself. so sleepy. There we go. That's better. Two. Man, fireballs, really? We could do aqua beam, I guess. That wouldn't be as... I don't think fire does well against this, but I'm not sure. Name is that actually Eddie? Amen is after my... Oh! Dead cat from your childhood! Oh, my heart! <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep saying mean things about Eddie then. That's even worse. Mm. Hey, Congo Jack. You love this? Oh, thank you for following! Thank you, thank you. In 10 years, I'll be done killing these Bebas and we'll be back to the game. Ugh. Oh, you are yellow, crud.
It's been very fun so far. Go Biba yourself already, Biba. Yeah, Biba. Combat is slow, but at least you're always trying to solve a puzzle. That's true. I'm really enjoying the combat system. I actually think I like it the most. Um, out of what we've seen so far in the game. Oh, finally! What if the rest of the game is just Bebas? <laughs> uh, at least they're cute. That's a lot of gold. Fur? They didn't look like they had fur. They looked like... I be... Be very sorry here. I give you this. Please forgive Biba. This Biba flute that is handed down in the Biba family. It Biba magical. It calls Wingipede. It makes Wingipede Biba good Wingipede. Bored Eric. <laughs> thank you for following. Thank you, thank you. It best Biba used in a wide open space. Well, I'll Biba seeing ya. <clears throat> Biba flute. Eh? Why do you not try blowing, blowing the flute here, Serge? I want to go save first, lady. That's why. Wingapede seems like the giant thing that flew over us, but I guess we won't know till we toot it. Maybe that's the way to get around stuff. Right. Reminds me of Ubby Dubby. Did anyone else have that fad happen as a kid? I think it was from a TV show. N Autumn, what is Ubby Dubby? Biba flute. Oh, is it because of this blue splop? Toot. This Biba the wrong place. This isn't the wide open space I was talking about. What the fuck? Isn't that a British thing? Remember working with a student? Eh? In a student competition? What is that? Can I like go into their... No, I can't follow it. Damn. Oh, I was wrong. Yeah, what the fuck, lady? What's her name? I keep forgetting it. We did just get her though. Lucia. 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 Oh, it's another. Did we heal properly? No. I'm running out of tablets. I should pick up some more. You added an up before vowels? Oh, I don't know that, but I remember, um, Pig Latin. We did, we had that. But I don't know Ubby Dubby. I don't like humans, but I don't hate them either. I just like strong beings no matter what species they be, ba. Which might you be, ba? Strong as Mr. Universe, weak as Mr. Punnyverse. Oh, Jesus. Pig Latin was also in the competition. I don't know which one to choose. Which one do I choose? I'm running out of steam. For these Beebus. Beebus. Puny? Oh, Punyverse! I said punny because of you guys. You said he likes strong people. But I think if I say strong, he's gonna be like, well, I'm gonna fight you then. Pick, pick pun. I feel like we should choose this, but I'm also afraid this is a trap. I know, that one was on me. Biba gone. Eh? Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? Eh? God damn it. Let the challenge commence. All right, so... It's a choice to not fight. That's less fun. 
Alright. Biba. Hopefully I can kill you before you call 10,000 friends. Leave it to Biba. Oh my god! You little shit. Woohoo, more Bebas! Kid language competition? Who it in Furby and writing wingdings at some point. What? What amazing talents. I'm very impressed. I remember sometimes our computer would just print wingdings and we could never figure out why. Did anyone else have that when they were like in middle school? Those early home printers, they would just print in wingdings instead of what they were supposed to print in. Biba call another friend. Close line. Kill that Biba. That's a solid 44, Eddie. Good job. Because you had the wrong encoding. The Japanese term is... <laughs> Wait, what? Mojibake? Oh. Mm. Letter monster? Or character monster, I guess. Depends on what you want to call them. Figures. Get out of here. How many did it summon? Only two. All right. Much better than last time. Want to look up was Ling- Yeah, what was Wingding supposed to be for? Literally the first time I've seen Eddie fight. The clothesline is amazing, right? It's totally making it worth having to do bad voices for him. Ow. Stop it. Wingdings was supposed to be as a character set to use said characters, instead of having to use some more code points. I think I'm too dumb to know what that means. Like in advertisements and stuff? Mm. Oh my god. I am thinking Lucia is not super great. Basically they were pictures. Mm. Emoji fonts. Attacking the wrong ones. We're trying to go for Biba B. B Biba. <laughs> eh, emoji first. Hmm. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, we have two fires. Let's do it. Might be time for the return of Lucky D. Maybe. It sucks because, like, Lucia's a really interesting character so far. But is she my best friend? No. Fuck it, let's keep doing fire. We've got the power up for it. I don't think I can change my party when I'm inside of a zone like this, though. We'll check. They really like punching her, too. Maybe they know that she does experiments on animals and stuff. Ow. Mm. It's always her. 
but why? Leave her alone. Smack. Slice. Cut. The fuck? I killed the first Biba so fast. Oh, there we go. <gasps> Lucia again! Leave her alone. Bad Biba. Oh, fuck you. Fine. Heal plus one. Not to the Biba. <laughs> I just realized when you're targeting, the person who you're targeting like flips to the side. Eh, 32, that's it? Mm. Isn't he supposed to be a priest? Why is he healing such shit? there. <sighs> Finally, Biba! Looks like those birds were coming in to kill us or eat us. Oh, we got another cure. That's nice. That Biba? Quite fun. I give you the treasure behind me. Hasta la viva, baby. A bush basher. Alright, that's actually pretty good. <sighs> Biba. Oh, I should check to see if I can switch my party out. No, I can't. The teleporter is how I do it. Oh. A wide open space. Could this be it? Search. Why do you not try blowing? Blowing that flute. Flute. <laughs> Austin, thank you for the 128 bits. Bee buzz. Hmm? Bee flute. Are you a friend? Are you gonna fight me? So this is Vingapeed. It is actually smaller than I thought. What? Surge, why do you not try feeding it something? Huh? Fuck did I feed it? What? I don't deserve this. Man. I didn't ask for this. I know! I was hoping it'd be like a mount or something. Like I'd be able to fly around on it. The Biba forgot how to care for your deadly wingipede animal. Clearly! Acidic gas? Uh oh. I don't have any way to cure poison. Okay, it doesn't look like we're poisoned. What element are you? Grass? Alright, we gotta get rid of that grass. I should probably do electric then? Or yellow? Wait, you're green. Crud. I mostly have green. Fine. We'll use her special stuff.
Pin him to the ground. Just don't let him fly away. Poison gas. No! I can't handle poison. Miss. Oh my god, it hit two of them. Maybe I can kill it. When do you take the damage? Is it every time you do something, or is it... One once. Looks like it's when they do something. Lucia's almost dead already. This is bots. And your cures are pretty- or your heals are pretty shit. What if this is the Beba's backup plan for taking you out? It could be. Oh, she's so dead. I can res. Maybe I can just one hit KO it. Ha 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 ha. Oh, I thought I got it too. Thank you for the 32 bits. Biba La Revolution. Mm. She has one health. Yeah, each move I do is a turn. Every single thing, because she just died. That's okay, because I can revive her, but I think I can only use the revive once. I don't know if I should be using it on her. I don't know if it'll bring her to one, or if it'll bring her to full, or if it'll bring her to like 50. 36, okay, so that means it's probably a percentage. I guess we're gonna clothesline this bug. I think our best bet is to just try to kill it because I can't really heal through this because I don't have any antidotes. That should squish any bug. Oh. Yay! <laughs> Okay, I'll take that. I guess its weakness was being clotheslined. I'm still poisoned. She's still dying. Oh, shit. Hey Biba, just dropping in to see how you're getting along with Winga. Oh my Biba, no! Huh? The foothold could give way at any minute. Serge, we should avoid passing through the middle. I want to go save. I'm probably going to die on my way there. And I don't know what happens if Serge dies. he's never died before. I don't know if it TKO's my party. Or if he's allowed to be dead and the others can be there. I wish these healed. Ah, oh, I wish these healed. That fight was not as scary. I mean, it was scary, but I thought it was going to go on for much longer. Time Paradox, Chrono pops out of your PlayStation and casts Luminaire. Could you imagine? Hmm. That delicious mint colored spell. How's my health? It's fine. Let's see. 
Fuck it. What? You mean pass through the middle? Wee! That was great animation for the cracking. Oh no! Did I just kill this thing? Who would have thought there would be a cavern inside of this tree? Let alone this big old monster. Well, at least it served as a cushion to break our fall. Otherwise, that would have hurt. If old five legs here could wake up, we could be in a lot of trouble. We should try to get out of here while we still can. Hey, is this the Hydra? <laughs> Don't believe it. Well, we found it. How do I get down? Jump down? Yes, please. I need to go heal and buy some antidotes. Pretty sure you avoided falling down. That was fun, though. It was pretty funny. Tickle, tickle? Eh? How do I get back up? Oh, treasure. Arrow saucer. I'm still dying. Which is a little bit of a concern. It's my last tablet. It's fine. If something bad happens, we can just go back to that save right before we crack the thing and we can leave. save here I could get stuck here can I talk to you or are you a bad guy oh no me yesterday wait Chrono Cross is good actually me today no no it's totally fine my issue is mistakes Dra daffy dwarf is this is the dwarf son oh crud I just don't want to be poisoned anymore, and I have no way to deal with it. Unless... Cure... No, this restores... And I- if I... I could let him die and res him by a different player. It might work. That might not be that bad. I just need to get to an inn or something. Ah! But I'm afraid of the ends because I don't want time to pass and for a kid to die. I don't know if that's even how it works. Harumph. Stop missing, big boy. Oh, I thought these were mole people. They kind of do like the dwarves, I guess. I'm getting clotheslined. It looks like a mole inside of a barrel. <laughs> Why are they so hard to hit? Just have to progress inch by inch. Boo. <laughs> I almost called him Chrono. <laughs> Surge is like, please. I have 15 health. Heal me, you jerk. Did you actually get healed? Oh my god, the other one is right there. You didn't get healed. Why? It's because I didn't have any. <gasps> an antidote. <gasps> Pete, thank you for the 200 bits. 
Oi, bugger me, mate. You did a right good job on that Aussie accent on one day. <laughs> Top Sheila you are. Thank you, Pete. Did I get better? <laughs> Am I better now? I tried really hard. <gasps> Five antidotes? The game has redeemed itself. <laughs> Thank you. I do appreciate that. Is this a fucking maze? This will let me go back down. I would like that, because I would like to leave. Do I want to leave? Hmm, hold on. We should check out the rest. Where does this go? What? Nowhere? What? Why? Hmm? I thought this was gonna lead me into like their cool little mole hole, but it led me into a mole, like an actual one. I wish I could get a better look at these little boobers. They kind of look like nose passes, actually. The Pokemon? Because is their big nose and also round and rock like. Soon I'm gonna be so good at accents, you guys will forget that you ever made fun of me. So take that. Daggy Dwarf? Wait a second. Do you have different names? Oh. My boy. You don't like this, right? Yeah. <sighs> Destroyed. Oh, never mind. It was fine. Nice job not missing things for once. Hooray. Fur? Is that healing me? No. Oh! Wait a minute. One of the fun things of mod view is you can see a count of point requests. So far, T's Rain is winning over compliment Rain. Eh? I didn't know you could see that. I never go into mod view. <laughs> I don't do my job. The surface of the slope is too- <gasps> Okay, that's fine. We're back at the beginning. I would like to get out of here and heal, please. Jeez, this place is rough. 16 to 12, huh? My bones. I think I can sleep in my room for free. Right, because there- I don't think there is a town, so... Or there might be, but I can't go to it. Oh, at least we made good progress, though. Meow! Oh, where's my kitty? Her poor bloodworky baby. May I sleep in my own bed game? Would you like to rest? Sure. So this is the first time we've rested since Kid got stabbed. And they said I had two days. And I don't know if that's plot days or if that's actual days. And even if time continues to move in the past and it's a... Or not the past. In the parallel world and it is in fact a separate day. We should still have another day. To get the Hydra body part and save her. Is my theory. That has no... <laughs> that I have no backing in. But whatever. I can't switch here. Can I switch in the overworld? 
All right, she's cool and all, but she is no Lucky D. I think this is the team for now. They make you go out there this time, you why me stuff in game. Yep. Ugh, music. Look at the bright side. If you're wrong, kid's a goner. How is that the bright side? <laughs> That's not a bright side. I finally felt more comfortable doing her silly accent. Mind you, it's only silly because of the way I do it, but still. Alright, we know exactly where to go. Wait, did we never go that way? Also, did it take our flute? The Biba flute is still there. Huh. Aha! Uh -huh. Are you gonna let me down? Are you gonna hit me? Oh my- Oh! I thought it was gonna hit me. Sweet. We're right where we left off. Kinda. I want to go over there, which means... Don't touch me. That way, and then... This way. Ew, 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 ew. I can't believe I dodged that last one. Alright, now we save in here. I'm glad this- at least I don't think this one counts my saves, which I like. No one can see my saving shame. Need at least four more compliment- No! Don't do what he asks. Eh? Ew, they're so creepy in their portraits! Dwarf chieftain. Halt, humans! We cannot permit you to advance any further. Daffy Dwarf. The Hydra is the tutelary deity of the- Tutelary? Tutush? Oh, this forest, hi-ho. Without it, this forest will die. Daggy Dwarf. Should you still wish to advance, you will have to get by us. Prepare for battle, wicked humans. This feels wrong. Get this Star Wars balance of the Force shit out of here, yeah. Technically, they did start it. Hi-ho, Chorus! My screen is shaking. Holy crapola! Okay, that's not good. There's so many of them! Dwarf, Daffy Dwarf, Daggy Dwarf. Alright, let's start with Dwarf, I guess. Smack! Smack, smack. Do I have the AoE magma bomb? Prepare to be bombed, you little jerks! Nope, that still makes us the bad guys, huh? Oh, not bad. We're attacking dwarf, don't forget. Normal dwarf. Smack. Punch. Double punch. With my feet. We have fire out. Maybe we should clothesline? Do you have a magma? No. Clothesline it is. Prepare to die, dwarf! Arrgh. I should do it too. Wind up. Alright, one dwarf dead. Let's go down the row. Daggy dwarf C. Prepare to die. You have a magma bomb? Perfect. Like how you learn how the hydras were hunted to extinction in one dimension then immediately begin to pros- But I need to do it to save my friend and then save the world, I'm assuming. I actually don't know though, do I? Hi-ho war cry. Uh-oh, this is the painful thing. Oh, that wasn't so bad. 
slice. Now you're dead. Do I want a meteor? I kind of want to keep using the fire. Oops. Oh no, that's fire. Save the Australian cheerleader, save the world. Exactly. Ooh, 71. You're in your element, Eddie. You can do this. Kill that dwarf. Kill that dwarf. Alright, Eddie's definitely coming in handy now. Kick. Element. Ooh, let's do gravity blow. This will be fun. I love his little freaking dances. Wow. See a nerd? Oh, he's not dead. I think if they die during that, they don't come back down. But I'm not 100% sure. Kind of like how the meteorite thing will just like <laughs> send them to the shadow realm. Do I have any fire I can do? Oh, no. All right. Socks. Eddie the Bane of Dwarves. Eddie Dwarves Bean. Hooray! We did the murders. We're such bad people. Oh, another star! Mojo's so strong. Yes. Give me those stats. Give me the stats. Heal me, please. Uplift and two tablets. Hooray! <gasps> Too strong! Are we unable to stop them? Get out of here, goober. The Hydra must be up ahead. Let's go, Surge. Okay. I go. After I heal, because we're dying. Not with antidotes. Oh, we don't have a lot of these, huh? That's fine. We'll be okay. It is your intention to kill the forest? No. They're strong. <sighs> Am I really gonna have to kill the forest to save my friend? What if I don't do it here? Oh. You befowler of the forest, human vermin. Prepare to receive the anger of nature that you so deserve, hi-ho. Oh, great Hydra, hear my voice. Turn these wretched humans. Teach them how the forest, no, our planet is paid by their existence. Hi-ho, Hydra, wait. Wait a second. Uh... Yes, this is my first time playing this. Mr. Mer Meows the Perfect. <laughs> nice name. I feel like, oh, if I... But I have to do this to progress. You can get a humor from something without killing it. I don't know about in this game. In real life, sure. <laughs> what games do you usually stream? Uh, retro games that I've never played. Like this. Uh, you can see a list of games if you had exclamation point games. Look out, it's coming. Oh, that does not look like the thing that I bonked on the face. Whoa! Oh, I don't even have max health. I'm gonna die. Looks a little smaller in here. That's much more manageable. It reminds me of uh, the centipede enemies that always have a stupid bring your health to one attack in Final Fantasy. You've got lucky D. It'll be fine. I hope so. All right, Lucky D, we can do this. What's on the board? Wait, what's your element? We could green then. Do I have green on you? I do. Let's do that instead. Because I think the opposite of yellow is green. In this game, anyway. 88, yep. All right. 
No! Why are you so bad at hitting? Whoa, Nightbot was delayed. Ow! Okay. Mm, Eddie might be turning into a cure friend. There you go. Heal plus one. Let's heal Surge. Thirty-two! Jeez, your heal is not very good. Oh! Oh, Mojo, why? Ow. We should stick with green, but I don't think he has green. No, he does! Bushwhacker! Perfect! Get him! Wiggle that butt! Kick his butt! With your butt! 28! Mm. I deserve this. Uh oh. Okay, the second one missed. Fuck it. Meteorite. Tried and true. I need you to keep healing, my friend. Two, four. Heal is used. About cure. Um, use it on yourself. Ugh. Kind of cool if spells could gain titles. <laughs> that would be kind of cool. Man, out of your healing is not particularly good, huh? Blue, yellow, no, blue, white, green. We should just do Voodoo Dance. It's basically our strongest thing with him, I think. Surge's Meteorite tried and true. <laughs> Aren't you tickled by my best friend? Putrid Odor? Dizzy? That's new. Uh oh. I don't think I have anything equipped to deal with that. I don't. Fine. We'll just keep trying to kill it. Forty-six. Okay. tablets on you. Is it a waste to use them? Maybe not. Thirty. The healing in this is so low. Alright, you've got full stamina. This should be okay. Don't miss, please. Thank you. It is electric. You have tablets too, don't you? Maybe I should try to... Hmm. Let's try to stabilize a little bit then. I don't know if that's the right thing to do in this game because we've never really had super low health ever in any fight. That's fine, I can revive him. I just need one hit to do it. Mm, no, I should be doing damage, I think. I think the healing thing is a trick. All right, we've got two fire. Clothesline it to death, please. Do it like you did with the big bug.
I mean, it's kind of all or nothing, right? Fuck it. I win or I die. It's fine, because we had a heal right before here. Or a save. I think we... Oh my god. Did we save after we did that? How do I like the whole elemental system so far? It's really cool, and I like it a lot. But not having, like, a dedicated healer is kicking my booty. I haven't quite figured out how to do that yet. How to effectively heal. Oh my god, it's finally weak? Fuck you, game. I can't revive again. Maybe it'll magically miss. And this will do a billion damage. It didn't do a billion damage. Wave of fear! The fuck is that? Alright, it buffed itself instead of hurting me. Ha 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 Sure. Let's just do whatever we can. We're probably gonna lose this fight, but that's fine, because we learned about it. <laughs> Welcome to space. Man! Alright, Lucky Dan, it's up to you. I believe in you. Look at all that stamina you have. No, don't miss! Come on, kiddo, you can do this. Uh, what is this thing? Is it- yeah. Hell Soul is not going to work, because the last two times I tried to do it on the bosses, it didn't work. Magma Bombs and AoE. Our only hope is Ice Lance? Come on, Lucky D! No! Dodge! <laughs> eh? Well... My first step. Unlucky D. Eh? Oh. Thus the life force called Surge has was not even allowed to be born into this world. Fate has no forgiveness for those who dare stand against it. Very chrono triggery. The future, yeah, that's a very the future refused to change. Uh, rest in peace, party. I was definitely close. It was it was downed. Uh, we're like five minutes past when we're supposed to end. I don't know if I should try to fight it or if I should save it for tomorrow. I think I need to save it because I have stuff I have to do tonight. Uh, Man, what a dark way to end. Uh, I think I have to stop. I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry to my team and I'm sorry to you guys. Mm. All right. I want to see where we are. Where are we? Do I have to fight the dwarves again? Cliffhanger? Truly a cliffhanger. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I have to fight the dwarves again. We're doing this tomorrow. Thank you guys for being here. I had a great day with you guys on day two of Chrono Cross. We made some friends today. That was fun. They're not very good friends, but they're still in our party, so that's neat. <laughs> Nobody's going to be lucky, D. Um... Please, if you are new, drop a follow. Don't forget we have a Discord that you may join no matter who you are, um, sub or not. Uh, what else? Uh, please vote in the poll. I don't know. I'll be back tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific until now-ish 5 p.m. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe I died to that thing. Mm. 
Anyway, I hope you all have a lovely, lovely night. I am going to go watch my lovely friend play some Undertale. Hmm. And catch up on some bots. I love you guys. Have a wonderful night.